Slam that like button if you love cookies. I love cookies. I'll slam the like button. Mmm, delicious. In this video. The new student, everybody. All right, everyone, please be very friendly to our new student, Rachel. Hi, everyone. I'm Rachel. Hey, guys. Um, can I still sit next to you? Of course you can, Rachel. Um, but first, you might want to get some of this delicious pizza. What? The new girl is prettier than me? Is that what you just said? Well, I'm not making it up. She is really gorgeous. No, it's you, Rachel. And we are not afraid to expose who you used to be. We know that you were the biggest dork ever when you first came to Brookhaven. And we're not afraid to tell everyone. Is there anything in these drawers? What's that? Dear Diary, it's me, Molly. Today, when I was on a field trip, I had to go poo-poo really bad, and I didn't make it, and I had to wear the poo-poo pants from the school nurse's office that are from 1975. Haha, <laughs> it was super embarrassing. Good morning, class. Everyone, please take out your math workbooks. What's this? Like the video? Equals a cookie? Molly, Daisy, did you write this about your YouTube channel on the board? I know you're famous, but seriously, can you pay attention to school when you're here? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, while I'm talking to you guys, I just want to tell you also that we have a new student coming today, and I expect you all to be very nice to her. When she says it like that, it means the new student is like really ugly and no one should make fun of her for it. Sarah, that wasn't a very nice thing to say. Would you like a detention for being rude? Uh, not really. Okay, here comes the new student, everybody. All right, everyone, please be very friendly to our new student, Rachel. Hi, everyone. I'm Rachel, and um, I just moved here, and I'm really excited to get to know everybody. Wait, what? She's, like, super pretty. She's, like prettier than me. Oh, that makes me super mad. Everything makes you super mad, Sarah. You're the biggest grump in Brookhaven. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just really good at being a baddie and you're being really good at being a loser. What? I'm not a loser. <laughs> you're totally a loser. Well, if it means I'm actually nice and it's the opposite of you being rude, then I'll be a loser every day, all day. Rachel, you can sit by me if you want. I love your outfit and your hair and your makeup. Aww. Oh, thanks so much. What's your name? My name is Daisy, just like the flower. She's my sister. Uh, she's a little annoying, but she's a nice person. Molly, that's not the introduction that I was hoping for. Well, it is sort of true. <laughs> Rachel, you can sit by us at lunch if you want. Gee, thanks so much. You guys are super nice. Ooh, these apples are so good. Not as good as this pizza. Mm. So delicious. Molly, I thought you were going to try to eat something healthy for lunch. Pizza is healthy. I mean, it has cheese on it. And Molly, an apple would have been healthier. You're probably right, but the pizza tastes so delicious. Hey, guys. Um, Can I still sit next to you? Of course you can, Rachel. Um, but first, you might want to get some of this delicious pizza. My sister even said it's so good. Or you can try the healthy option of the apple. Hmm. Such choices. What am I going to pick? Uh, I actually picked this, guys. The chicken looks really good. Yeah, but again, not as good as the pizza. So, Rachel, what town did you come from? Um, I came from Louisville. Whoa, that's really far from here. You girls seem really nice. I'm glad I'm making friends in my new school. I was a little worried that maybe I wouldn't. Ooh. But why wouldn't you make friends? I mean, seriously, you're so beautiful. I bet you were like Miss America at your last school. Yeah, you seem like you'd be one of the popular girls. So I'm surprised that you're just so friendly. Oh, just because you're popular doesn't mean you're rude. In this school it does. Have you met Sarah? She was the rude girl in our class. Yeah, she seemed a little rude, I have to admit. Well, guys, I have to use the bathroom, and then I'm going to go study some. Um, thanks for having lunch with me. No problem, 
time. I hope to see you in our next class or, or on the school or something, Rachel. Nice meeting you, Rachel. See you in math class. What? The new girl is prettier than me? Is that what you just said? Well, I'm not making it up. She is really gorgeous. No one is prettier than me in this school. I think we should do some digging on this girl and see where she came from and who she is. Yeah, we can expose her for something to be embarrassing. We don't want her to be more popular than we are. Uh -oh. Exactly. Oh, um, hi. Hi, you must be the new girl, Rachel. Sarah was just telling me how amazing you are. So pretty, smart, and nice. Really? Oh, <laughs> thank you. You probably don't want to talk to me because you guys are like super popular. Actually, we do want to talk to you. Uh, we just want to make you one of us. What? Um, I don't know about that. I've already sort of made friends with Molly and Daisy. Did you know that they're famous YouTubers? Yeah, that's so annoying about them, isn't it? They think they're the coolest people in the school. I didn't get the impression that they thought they were the coolest at all. I thought they were really down to earth. Molly was super funny. Daisy was really sweet. Well, she's not. She's actually kind of annoying. She thinks she's so smart all the time. Well, she did seem pretty smart to me. Oh, well, I came from um, Blocks... I mean, um, Louisville. Did you just say Blocksburg? No, <laughs> I don't even know where Blocksburg is. Is that near here? <laughs> I said Louisville. Uh-huh, <laughs> sure you did, Rachel. Well, see you later. Hmm. Now I know exactly where to look. She came from Blocksburg. She's a loser. I just know it. Let's Google her and see what we can find out. <gasps> Sarah, look at this. I just struck gold. Were you picking your nose? What? No. Ew. I was trying to show you this Snapchat of Rachel at her old school in Blocksburg. Uh -oh. <laughs> Some of the popular girls took this of her. She was a total loser. We can expose her. And then she won't seem so great and beautiful anymore, will she? <laughs> I knew there was a reason why I kept you in the baddies club with me, Tiffany. Yeah, we're just too much alike, Sarah. <laughs> there she is, Sarah. Let's go tell her what we know. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Rachel, don't you look so perfect and popular? Yeah, except for we know the truth about you. Wait, what? What are you guys talking about? I'm trying to do some studying. We know you're from Bloxburg. What? No, I'm not. I told you I'm from Louisville. <laughs> I was super popular there. Everyone loved me. Uh-huh, sure. Then how do you explain this Snapchat of you. Um, that's my, um, dorky sister. Yeah, we know it's you, Rachel. And we are not afraid to expose who you used to be. We know that you were the biggest dork ever when you first came to Brookhaven. And we're not afraid to tell everyone. Wow. Brookhaven is so cool. I'm going to change everything about how I look. I don't want to be the biggest dork here like I was in Blocksburg. No one will know about my past life in Blocksburg. Everyone will just think I'm a popular girl here. It's a new start. We'll totally expose you unless you do exactly what we say, Rachel. Really? Why would you do that? That's so mean. Yeah, duh. We're baddies. Get a clue. So this is what you're going to do. We are tired of Molly and Daisy seeming like they are so cool because they're famous YouTubers. Yeah, it's so annoying, especially since they're such losers. You are going to be friends with them. And then you're going to help us expose them for the losers that they are. But they seem so nice. Why would you want to do that to them? Because we just said they annoy us. Oh, if I really have to, I guess I'll do what you say. Uh oh. Perfect. Now get going before we change our mind. Um, okay. I don't feel so good about this. <laughs> Are you?
our plan is working perfectly. She'll figure out something that makes Molly and Daisy look like total losers, and then everyone will unsubscribe to their YouTube channels. Yeah, and we'll make Rachel look like she's the worst of them all. <laughs> everyone will think she's so mean. Yeah, because she's too pretty to actually be popular. She would maybe like threaten our place as the most popular girls. She's too pretty and smart and nice. Exactly. We'll take them all down. All three of them. You and me, Tiffany. Baddies for life. Yeah, Sarah. Exactly. But who's the head of the baddies? I am, of course. What? I'm the head of the baddies. No. I'm the head of the baddies. And don't forget it. Molly, you do know that we have homework tonight, right? Yeah, but I want to watch the latest episode of Brook High and just chill. Huh, wonder who that could be. Oh, Daisy, it's the new girl, Rachel. Hi, can I come in? Yeah, sure, come on in, Rachel. Wait, how did you find out where we live? Oh, I just, um, I just asked some people at school. I just thought you guys were so cool, and you seemed like you were going to be really nice friends, so... I don't know, I don't have any friends in Brookhaven yet, and I just thought, well, maybe we could hang out. Absolutely! Right, Daisy? Yep, just finishing up some of my homework right now, and then we could do something fun. So, what do you like to do for fun? You guys have um your own room or whatever? Show it to me. Of course we have our own room. Well, actually, we have to share, but um we don't like sleep on the couch or something. Oh, cool. Well, show me your room. All right, come with me. You guys have an elevator in your house? Oh my God, that's super fancy. This is um, Daisy and I's room. We share it. And my baby sister, baby Kira, gets her own room. Isn't that ridiculous? She's a baby. <laughs> well, she probably gets her own room because if she didn't, she'd keep you up all night crying and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's what my mom said. But as soon as she's big enough, she's going to room with Daisy. What? No. Yeah, because I'm the oldest. Molly! I want the room because you always talk when I'm trying to do my homework. You guys fight so much. I can tell you guys are sisters. Yeah, my sister's annoying. My sister's an ignoramus. Guys, stop fighting. Seriously. So, uh, what kind of snacks do you have? Um, I don't know. I, I think we have some ice cream. Do you want an ice cream cone? Sure. I'll just hang out here. Oh, man. I forgot to ask Molly if you had anything to drink. I'm super thirsty. Don't worry, Rachel. I'll go get you something. No problem. Thank you. Finally, I'm alone. Now let's see what kind of evidence I can dig up in their bedroom for Sarah and Tiffany. Ugh, their room is like squeaky clean. There must be some sort of evidence somewhere. Is there anything in these drawers? What's that? Oh, it's Molly's diary. I wonder if Daisy has a diary too. I know where I keep my diary, under my pillow. <gasps> Her too! <laughs> well, this should be exactly what Sarah and Tiffany need. Then maybe they can leave me alone. I don't want them to expose me that I was a total dork before I moved here. Isn't Rachel just so nice? She totally is. She asked me to get her a drink. Oh, <laughs> she must have forgot to ask me. She did. What was that? Sounded like a door slamming. Rachel, I'm coming with your ice cream. Rachel, here's your ice cream. Where is she? I don't know. Maybe that door slamming was her going home. Oh my gosh, why? Do you think she doesn't want to be our friend? No, probably her mom called her, and she just had to go home and do her homework. Oh, suit yourself, Rachel. Mm. I'm going to eat your ice cream then. Mm. It's delicious. So, what did you find out for us, Rachel? Yeah, what did you find out? Or do we have to expose you? No, I got some really good stuff because I went over to their house <laughs> and they so easily fell for my tricks. I stole their diaries and wait till you read all of this juicy information. What? You stole their diaries? <laughs> wow, you're actually a pretty great baddie. What? I don't want to be a baddie. I want to be a goodie. Well, you could never be a part of our club anyway because you're not pretty enough. 
What? She is kind of pretty. Shut up, Tiffany. She's not pretty. Oh, yeah. You're ugly, Rachel. You could never be a part of our club. So listen to this juicy information, guys. And then please don't expose me. Please. I actually want to be popular and liked and not bullied at this school. Well, then I suggest you hand over the diaries. Uh oh Now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Molly says that she accidentally poo-pooed her pants on the school field trip. Oh, gross. I'm sure that when we expose all of these ridiculous and sad secrets, they're not even going to be popular on YouTube anymore. That's the plan. All right, Rachel, we're done with you. Get lost, loser. What? Y you're going to bully me now? Only if you keep standing in our face there, ugly. May I have your attention, please? Does that sound like Sarah over the loudspeaker? It sure does, Molly. I wonder what she's in the principal's office for. I have some very important information to read to you. <laughs> Everybody, make sure you're paying attention. Dear Diary, it's me, Molly. Today, when I was on a field trip, I had to go poo-poo really <clears throat> bad, and I didn't make it, and I had to wear the poo-poo pants from the school nurse's office that are from 1975. Haha, <laughs> it was super embarrassing. Next journal entry. Is she reading my diary to the entire school? Um, I think so, Molly. What? How did she get my diary? This one is from Daisy's diary. Dear diary, I failed one of my science tests. I didn't tell anybody because it was so humiliating. I just hid the test under my bed and never mentioned it to anyone. Except for when my sister Molly asked and I told her I got a hundred and then made her feel like an ignoramus because she didn't. Seriously, Daisy? You lied to me? I, I, hey, when I voted my diet, we are supposed to be private. I just can't believe you, Daisy. That was so rude. How would, wait a minute. How would she get our diaries? Exactly. Let's stop fighting and figure that out, Molly. Yeah, and then we can deal with the fact that you lied to me about your test after. Molly, okay, how would she get in there? The doors were locked. She didn't come over to our house. Who did come over to our house? Uh, let's see, there was that DoorDash guy, but he wouldn't have stolen our diary. Wait a minute. Rachel came over to our house. She seems so nice. She wouldn't do that, would she? Rachel. Um, uh, yeah, I just am going to the bathroom. <laughs> See you later. No. Rachel! Rachel! What? What is it? What do you want? Did you steal my diary? Did you steal Daisy's diary? Who, me? <laughs> um, why would I do that? I don't know. Because you're actually a baddie and not someone I want to be friends with? I thought you were really cool. I am really cool. It's just, well, uh... So you did steal my diary. We can't be friends. You're not a nice person. It was her who stole our diaries, Daisy. What? Why? I don't know. I think she's a baddie. So now everyone should unsubscribe to their YouTube channels because they're total losers. They shouldn't be popular at all. I just can't believe it. Rachel's not the person I thought she was. Just goes to show when you think you know somebody, you have no idea. Molly, I think we judged her all wrong. She's actually a baddie. Totally, totally a baddie. Great job, loser. <laughs> you did exactly what we told you to do. Now, we need you to go expose something else about Molly and Daisy. We want to make sure they have negative subscribers. Yeah, why are you just sitting there? Because this doesn't feel right. I, I don't want to be a baddie. I want to be a good person. And, and I feel bad for taking their diaries. That was wrong of me. Now you're getting a conscience? Like, whatever. I'm going to tell everybody that you were a total dork <laughs> loser that came from Bloxburg. Well, it's better than being a fake. Really? I don't think so. 
<laughs> Everyone will tease you and bully you here. Okay, well, it seems like you guys are kind of bullying me and bossing me around anyway. So what's the difference? I'd rather just not be friends with anyone. It just goes bad. Wow, she's going to cry about it now. Yeah, she definitely can't fit into the baddies club. Worst day ever. Usually when I'm having a terrible day at school, this is where I go to hide. <laughs> oh, is that a new student? Hi, are you okay? You don't want to talk to me. Um, why wouldn't I want to talk to you? Are you new here? My name's Molly. No. Uh, well, yes, I'm sort of new here, but you've met me before. What? No. I would have remembered you if I met you. Unless, of course, I was concentrating on eating pizza or playing Roblox. Then I may not have really noticed you. No, I... I... You hate me! What? I hate you? What are you talking about? I don't hate anybody. Yeah, I'm sure you won't like me. It's just because I did something really horrible and mean. Trying to fit in. Wait a minute. Rachel? Is that you? Yeah, this is my true form. By the way, I love Spongebob. Why were you dressed like a baddie this whole time? Because... I came from Bloxburg, and I was a total dork there, and I got bullied, and everyone teased me for how I looked and and what I said and the fact that I liked playing Roblox so much and... Wait, what? Yeah, and Sarah and, and Tiffany told me that if I didn't expose you guys and make you lose all your YouTube subscribers, that they would tell everybody I was a huge loser in my old town. What? They were bullying you too and manipulating you? Yeah... Totally. I'm sorry. Can you ever forgive me? I don't know. You stole my diary. I'm sorry, Molly. It was a really bad thing to do. Yeah, it was. I forgive you, but I'm going to need you to prove to me that I can trust you if you want to be my friend. Don't worry, Molly. I'll show you that I can be a good person. I hope so. Because so far, all you've shown me is that you're not very nice. I let you into my house, and you stole something that was private of mine. I know. Man, I'm failing at not being a bad person at this new town. Yeah, but you can always turn it around. And I'm going to give you the opportunity to. Really? Yeah. And I hope someday you and I can be really close friends. Me too, Molly. Thanks for the second chance. What's so funny? Someone gonna let me in on the joke? Wait a minute. What are you guys wearing? What? Do all of you have no homework shirts? Why would you wear that to school? You're at school. Of course you're going to have homework. Um, because all you've been doing is giving us mountains and mountains of homework, Mrs. Smith. We don't have time to have a life or do anything other than homework. Ooh. Yeah, it really stinks. I agree. Too much homework. I think since the entire class is being so defiant, I'll assign more homework this week. <laughs> we'll see who wins now. Sorry, we all took a vote and we're not doing any homework tonight. We're exhausted. I mean, Daisy slept in today. She never sleeps in. She's late for school trying to get all of her homework done. And this is Daisy we're talking about. If the biggest brain in all of Brookhaven has trouble finishing her homework, think about the rest of us dummies. Ow. That's it. I'm getting the principal. Uh-oh. Here comes Principal Dietrich. What's this I hear about everyone wearing these terrible no homework shirts? That's it. I hereby decree from this day forth, we shall have a school dress code. Yes, a school dress code with my favorite color ever, pink. <laughs> I'll expect everyone to come to school first thing tomorrow wearing all pink, our new school uniform. Pink? Oh, great. We're going to look like Pepto-Bismol every single day. This can't be happening. Bro, is she serious right now? I don't even own one item of clothing that's pink. Um, yeah, I own like 
one thing that my grandmother bought me like four years ago and I never wear it. Well, I guess we have to go shopping, Molly. Or we have to go into Daisy's closet. She'll love this. Ugh, I can't believe it. I want to wear blue. Blue is my favorite color. Good afternoon, students. You're about to be released to go home for the day, but I just wanted to give the reminder that you will be wearing pink tomorrow or suffer the consequences. Suffer the consequences. Suffer the consequences. Just who does this lady think she is? Um, well, uh, I think she th thinks that she's the principal. Yeah, she can basically do whatever she wants, Molly. It's not fair. I don't want to wear pink every day. I'll look like a pink nightmare. Well, I guess things could be worse. We could have gotten more homework. Are you kidding me? Mrs. Smith gave us a ton of homework. And it's math. Oh, my least favorite subject. Hi, welcome to Rockstar. What can I help you find? Oh, they don't sell any pink in my size. What am I going to do? Um, well... You could go shop in the girls' side. <laughs> There's definitely some pink there. Oh, we have this new school rule that our school uniforms have to be all pink. What? That sounds kind of crazy. <laughs> Is your principal gone bonkers? I think so. Oh, it all started because Molly suggested that we wear these no homework shirts. Whoa. Is she your friend? I think that I'd make her my ex-friend if I were you. No, it's just the way that Molly is. She can't help herself. But seriously, though, can you help me find something pink? In your size? You're a pretty big guy. Do you play football? Uh, yeah. Um, well, let's see what we can do. Hmm, I might have this in an XL. Molly, what are you wearing? You're supposed to be wearing pink. No, I am not wearing pink. I hate that color. Really? I think it's the most beautiful color ever. Pink is so pretty. Okay, DZ, that's your choice to wear pink. I'm wearing blue. Um, Molly, that shirt is what got us all in this trouble to begin with. Just put on the pink outfit so we don't get in any more trouble. We're not going to get in trouble. We're wearing pink. And I love this new dress code. Of course you would, because it's... It's exactly what you want. But what about the people who like blue or purple or black? Whoa, it got dark there for a minute, Molly. <laughs> well, good luck. I'm sure the principal's not going to like you wearing a no homework shirt and in the color blue. Man, you're going to get in so much trouble. Ooh. I don't care. Uh -oh. oh, I can't believe I have to be seen like this. <laughs> Luke, what are you wearing? It's all that would fit me from the Rockstar store. I feel like a, a dork. Ooh. Well, uh, you look like one a little bit. <laughs> You're giving me a good laugh this morning, though. <laughs> Why not wear what you want? Can't wear what we want. We have to wear all pink. It's the new school dress code. Oh, I'm going to have to special order some from the internet or something. I'm not wearing pink. Nope, nope. And also, no! Well, come on, we better get to class. Oh, do I have to go into school like this? I'm afraid so, Luke. Don't you just love pink? Daisy, you're delusional. He doesn't love it. I don't love it. He loves it, just doesn't want to admit it. Do you? You love pink, don't you, don't you, don't you? I don't love it. <laughs> okay, class, let's settle down. Everyone looks nice in their new dress. What? Molly, why are you still wearing that shirt? Because I like blue. Uh-oh, this isn't going to go good. Molly, principal's office, now. Uh-oh. I'm just a pink girl living in a pink world. You wanted to see me, principal? How did you like my song? Wasn't it amazing? Unlike you, who's not amazing because you aren't wearing pink. And since you don't decide that you want to follow school rules, I guess you're going to have to clean the bathroom, yeah. including the toilets, in the boys' room. Well, here goes nothing. Ugh, 
I'm blue. Ba da dee da da da. Ba da dee da 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 da. I'm blue. Dee 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 dee. Ew, gross. Where's Molly? I heard this rumor. I don't know if it's true, but that she had to clean the boys' toilets because she only wore blue today and not pink. Whoa. I'm starting to think she's the lucky one, though. This outfit's super itchy. Oh, it's so itchy and it's right in the middle of my back and I can't reach it. Oh, this outfit's awful and it's too tight and it's itchy and I hate it. Oh, look, there's the principal. Play it cool, everybody. I do look cool because I'm wearing pink, duh. Look at everyone looking adorable in pink. Except for you. Why are you wearing that? What? What do you mean? Why am I wearing this? I'm wearing what you told me, pink. Are you making fun of my all pink dress code? Uh oh, what? No, I'm just wearing what you said. He is. He's trying to make a joke out of this. That's it. First someone doesn't wear pink, and now someone's trying to make fun of it? You're expelled! Wait, what? But I didn't do anything! I, 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 oh. Out of my school. Now! Well, it's lunchtime, but I'm not done cleaning the boys' bathroom, so I guess I just have to eat my lunch in here. Ugh. Something has to be done about this Looney Tunes school dress code. It's ridiculous. And I'm not going to stand for this. Rats to our school lunch lady. She made some delicious cheeseburgers today. Mm. Even if I do have to eat it next to the boys' toilets. Ew. Ew. Was I wearing pink today so amazing? No. I had to clean all the boys' toilets. And then the girls' bathroom, too. Well, I guess you should have followed the rules, because I thought it was amazing. Daisy, seriously, something has to be done about wearing all pink all the time. Ugh, makes me want to barf. Ooh. Well, I'm not helping you do anything. I love our new dress code. Our principal's amazing. Are you kidding me? She's gone bonkers. She hasn't gone bonkers. She just loves pink. It's her passion. Pink is her passion. Pink, pink is her passion. Daisy, stop singing. You're annoying me. Stop being so blue all the time and get happy and cheery and full of pink spirit. Never. Luke, are you home? Where else would I be? I got expelled from school. But it turns out it's not that bad. <laughs> I just play video games all day in my basement. Luke, I need your help. I need you to protest with me about the pink school thing. Sorry, Molly, but I'm really enjoying staying home all the time. Luke! Well, look, I'm playing video games. Look at this old school Tetris game. This is so cool. Okay, you're obviously going to be zero help. Sorry, Molly. Wish I could help you. Ugh, I've got to try somebody else. Maybe Brookie. Brookie! Brookie, are you home? Brookie! Hey, Molly, what's up? up? I'm just doing my work up right, work out right now. I'm so out of breath. My brain isn't even working, so I can't talk at the same time. Can you stop for a minute? I need to talk to you. Um, sure, what is it? But it can't take too long. I don't want my heart rate to go down. You love to work out. Sometimes I wonder how we're even best friends. Look, we've got a band together about this whole pink dress code thing. Molly, are you sure it's that big of a deal? Hey, come on, it's a huge deal. I guess you're right. The principal has gone a little crazy. What's your idea? Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Hi everyone, it's me, Ashley, live at the Brookhaven School. And today we have a protest going on against the principal and her new school dress code of all pink, pink, pink. Uh, let's just see what's going on here, shall we, Bruce? No more pink! No more pink! No more pink! Blue rules, blue rules, let's have blue, blue, blue rules, blue rules, blue rules, or something like that. Yeah, no more pink. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm just here to be on the news. <laughs> I'm famous. Uh, you're here for protesting pink. Oh yeah, cool. All right, I don't like pink either. What? What's this? You don't like pink? Well, you should all be suspended then. This is my pink 
world. If you couldn't guess, this is what happened to our principal. Okay, principal, why don't you come with me? We need to take you to the hospital. What? I don't need to go to the hospital. I feel fine. I feel pink. I feel rosy and happy. You also feel a bit bonkers. <laughs> and uh, I think maybe you should probably go get checked out. Did you get a bonk on the head? What? No, I just love pink, pink, pink. Okay, come on, come with me. No, I'm not coming with anybody. Goodbye. <gasps> hey, get back here. <laughs> I'll go live in my pink world. Pink, 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 pink. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late. Excuse me, Cece. Excuse me, Kendra. That's my locker you're standing in front of. I need to get my book so that I'm not late for class. Uh, is someone actually talking to us, Kendra? Nah, it was just an annoying fly buzzing around. What? No, no, it was me. Excuse me. Move. You don't tell the baddies to move. You wait till we're done. Oh, um... Gee! Oh, okay, I'll just try to squeeze by you then. Oh, that loser touched me. Well, if you would move out of the way, um, you guys might want to move out of the way, though, because when I open my locker door, it's totally going to hit you in the head. What? This girl is so annoying. Come on, Kendra. Let's go check out our hair in the bathroom mirror. Yeah, totally. Ugh, the baddies at my school are, well, super Super bad. Whoa, my new school. Hopefully everybody likes me. <laughs> come on, locker, open. Ugh. Come on. Okay, there we go, finally. This locker's been broken since the day they assigned it to me. Oh, hi. Are you a new student? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I am, and I'm not really sure where my locker is. It's number 122. Oh, that locker's right next to mine. Hopefully yours actually opens. Seriously? Will I have a locker that isn't open? That happened at my old school and like literally it made me so scared and nervous every day that I wasn't going to be able to get my stuff out of it. Yeah, that's how I was at the beginning of the school year, but don't sweat it. I kind of know a trick to get it open. Watch this. Um, are you supposed to be beating up the locker? Trust me, these lockers are really old. They deserve it. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> they just never work. They're, they're very naughty lockers. Open already. My name's Molly. Um, if you want, you can be friends with me. I could tell you who the baddies are in our school and who the bullies are and who the nice ones are and... Oh, thanks. You sound really nice, Molly. My name's Alex. Hi, Alex. Nice to meet you. So, uh, what's your first class? Um, according to my paper, it says math. Me too. This teacher's kind of a snore. But don't worry, I'll be sitting next to you, so I'll make you laugh. Thanks, Molly. Sounds like we're going to be really good friends. I was really nervous that people wouldn't like me here, or they'd make fun of my braces or glasses, or, or the fact that I like this shirt and stuff. Nah, look at my shirt. I've got a unicorn on it. Unicorns are awesome. <laughs> you really are funny. Come on, Alex, we don't want to be late. Yo, Cece. Who's that loser sitting by the other loser? Excuse me, um, my name is not loser. It's Miss Loser. Turn around. Your breath smells like a rotten egg. What? No, it doesn't. I used mouthwash this morning. Okay, well, your face is really annoying me. Um, uh, how can I have an annoying face? You just do. Sit down, loser. Wow, the baddie club is, well, very mean. I noticed. I hope they don't see me and pick on me. Don't worry. I'm sure they'll bully you, but you get used to it. I know, right? That's what I said. I really like him. I hope he asks me to the dance. Okay, class. Okay. Phones away. Uh, You two in the back. You get rid of your coffee. You get rid of your cell phone. Or you can meet me in detention. <sighs> okay, I'll talk to you later. My teacher is so annoying. I heard that. Psst. Hey, you dork. Are they talking to me, Molly? Um, I'm afraid so, Alex. Yeah, you dork. 
Meet me at my locker at the end of this class. I want to see if you're baddie material. Sounds like they want to put you in their club. Wow, it's very elite. I know I can't be in it. Really? Wow, I get to be in the baddie club? That's amazing. Brittany, where were you? Sorry, Cece. I um was late for school because I overslept and... Uh, you weren't there in math class, and we have to see if this new girl is, well, <laughs> batty club material. <laughs> what are you guys laughing about? Is she really material or not? <laughs> Wait till you see her. <laughs> You're going to have a blast with this one, Brittany. Uh-oh! I can't believe this girl is actually making us wait. What's her problem? Yeah, she doesn't make the batty club wait. Who's that dork? That is the person we might be putting in the batty club. <laughs> you are hilarious, Kendra and Cece. <laughs> this girl will be a part of the batty club? Hi, I'm Alex. I'm new here. <laughs> and I'm only going to have braces for like two years, so please don't tease me about them. I want to have perfect smile and... My dentist said I needed them and I need these glasses, but at some point I'm going to get contacts and I swear I'm much cooler than I look. I'm really nice. Uh-oh. Seriously, girls, this is almost too easy. Well, take it away then, Brittany. You are a loser. You could never be a baddie like us. Our club is very exclusive for the prettiest and baddest girls at Brookhaven High. What? Oh, I, I thought you wanted me to be in your club. <laughs> you could never be in our club, loser. Mm. Mm, I'm sure I can fit just one more slice in. Mm. This school pizza, it's delicious. Wow. Uh-oh, why did I try to put that extra piece of pizza in? Oh. embarrassing. <laughs> I know, my farts are kind of smelly, but um, you don't have to cry about it. You can just leave. No, it's that <laughs> the baddie club didn't want me to be in their group. Huh, what? They, they said I was a loser. That's not very nice of them, but I guess I should have expected that. They're so rude. Don't listen to them, Alex. You're so nice. Don't listen to who. <gasps> Look at it, it's the new loser. Oh, she's so ugly and she's a loser. Hey, rude. You're a loser too, get out of here. Alex, don't listen to them. I'm a loser, I knew it. Ugh. I have to help my new friend. I just have to. Well, 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 you decided to come back another day to have the baddies tell you you're a loser again? Oh, I'm sure it is yesterday. Gross. Are you poor? Do you even have any money? I mean, how many outfits do you have? One. Well, I just really like this shirt, so I got two of them for Christmas because I love them so much. Oh, this girl is such a loser, Kendra. <laughs> Not as big of a loser as I am. What? Who is that? Oh, look at their face. They're such a nerd, a dork, a loser. Molly, is that you? Who's Molly? <laughs> I'm Leonard. <laughs> um, well, Leonard, you are the ugliest dork I've ever seen. Molly, what are you doing? Trust me, I'm just taking the attention away from you. Go be yourself. Molly, thank you. No problem. Now, let me have your worst. I can take it. Loser, ugly, four eyes. Ugh, you smell smelly. Ugh, this is a hard job to have. Do you think you're the first bully I've ever come across? <laughs> I don't think so. I've been getting bullied since preschool, so nothing you say can bother me. I'm rubber and you're glue. Whatever you say, 
bounces off me and sticks to you. What are you in preschool? <laughs> really? Maybe. Smell this! Uh oh! Ew! Gross! You little brat! <laughs> Molly, you didn't have to do that for me. That's what friends are for, and honestly, they don't really bother me that much, Alex. They're just rude. And I think that they just, I don't know, think that they could feel better about themselves by being mean to other people. But it really just shows that they have really cold and cruel hearts. You never, ever want to be a part of the baddies club. They're just rude villains. Well, thank you for being such a good friend to me. I mean, seriously. I didn't know what to do when I had to come to a new school. I was really scared, and well... You've been a really good friend. Hey, no problem. I have another idea, too. What? Eat pizza you pulled out of your pocket? Ew. <laughs> I'm saving that for later because it was so good at lunch today. Mm. Want some? Uh, no. I'm okay. I don't eat any pizza that was stuffed in your pocket all day. Ew. Yeah. A little bit of the cheese stuck to my leg, but you know, I don't care. Um, Molly, what are you doing? I'm texting, uh, Cece. What? What? She's a part of the baddie club. Uh, why are you texting her? Because <laughs> I'm pretending to be her crush, Lucas. <gasps> Molly. Hey, she can be a baddie. So can't I. <laughs> Meet me here in 15 minutes. Perfect. Now. What I need you to do is go over there and hide behind that tree and Snapchat this. Really, Molly? Are you sure about this? <laughs> I've never been so sure about anything in my whole life. Ooh. I'm all ready to Snapchat, Molly. Great. <laughs> today at lunch, I heard Lucas and his friends say they were going to play basketball at the park today. <laughs> Perfect. Lucas, hi. You wanted to meet me and talk to me? Huh? What? Who, who are you? Oh, very funny! I'm the leader of the baddie club, Cece Duh! <laughs> you gonna ask me to dance? Huh? You don't have to be afraid. Uh, of course I'd go with you. What are you talking about? I don't want to go to the dance with you. I don't even know you. Uh-oh! There you are, Pookie Snooky Wookie Pookie! I, I was looking for you everywhere, honey! Who's this? <gasps> is this your boyfriend? <laughs> what? No! This is just some dork from school. I don't know them. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Cece. We've been dating for six months. Ah! <laughs> this is a match made in heaven. <laughs> I know, right? Come on, sweetie. Let's look cute for the camera. Oh, my God. I'm mortified. Ah! <laughs> Wait, what just happened? I got it, Molly. I Snapchatted that. <laughs> Looks like she's not the only baddie in town. Oh, Molly, you can be the leader of the baddies if you really wanted to. Nah, I don't really need to be bad. But it sure felt good to give her a taste of her own medicine for a change. I'm glad she's not going to bully you anymore. Pretty sure she's going to be hiding in her bedroom for at least a month. Thanks, Molly, for sticking up for me. No problem, Alex. <laughs> ah, baddies club look out there's a new baddie in town now uh oh <laughs> really aren't you supposed to be doing good chores uh yeah but i just sat down to watch some tv mommy you've been watching tv off and on all day when you're not playing roblox uh, I guess I'll do all the chores for you. Oh, that's sweet of you, Daisy, but I'm sure Molly can do some, too. No, Mom, it's all right. I'll do them all. I don't mind. Oh, world's best sister. Uh-huh, sure. Mom, now that I did all the chores, um, I was wondering if um, maybe perhaps I could have a sleepover? Hmm, well, you have been a very good kid. So, I say yes. Wow. Really? Hooray! Thank you so much, Mom. Who are you going to invite, honey? 
I figured I'm gonna invite Rosie. Good luck. You invite her like every other week and she never comes to any of your sleepovers. I don't even know why you're still friends with her. Molly, don't be rude. Yeah, Molly, just because he doesn't want to come to my sleepover. Like, ever. Doesn't mean that she doesn't want to be my friend. I think. It's okay, Daisy. Maybe she just has a reason why she doesn't want to come to your sleepover. Yeah, like she doesn't like you that much, Daisy, but she doesn't want to tell you that. Molly! Molly, why don't you go to your room for a little bit and think about being nice to your sister. Okay, that's where Roblox is anyway. Bye! Ooh. Ugh, don't pay any attention to your sister. Sometimes she just has no filter. I don't, but I can't help but wonder if she's right, Mom. I mean, maybe my new BFF doesn't really like uh -oh. me. Uh-oh! I wouldn't say that, Daisy. Try asking her again today. Maybe you'll have better luck. I sure hope so, Mom. I sure hope so. Hey, Rosie. I was... Wonder Week, if you wanted to come for a sleepover tomorrow. <coughs> After school, of course. I'm sure she'll let me back any minute now. La 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 la. Hmm, I wonder if she takes me back. What? No new texts? She probably hasn't seen it yet. Ow. I'll just do a little bit of my homework, and I bet when I'm all done, she'll have texted me back. Because she definitely wants to come to a sleepover at my house tomorrow night. One hour later. Ah, <sighs> that was a ton of homework. I wonder if Rosie texts me back. What? No messages? Ooh. What is her phone broken or something? Ay, ay, ay. She's just not texting me back. Uh, Daisy, I don't think she likes you. <gasps> Molly, quit being so rude. Did you just slam the door to my room? Daisy! Well, you're being rude. She does like me. We're like BFFs and everything. Daisy, is everything okay? You're just playing with your food. You're not really eating it. You're pushing it around on your plate. You're staring at it, but you're not actually eating it. And this is one of your favorite meals. What's going on, hun? I'm just not that hungry, I guess. May I be excused? Uh, I really wish you'd eat some of your vegetables. They're good for you. No, thank you. I just don't want me right now. She's just sad because Rosie never texted her back about her sleepover. Still? Hmm. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusions, honey. I'm sure it's nothing. Or it's something. But probably nothing to do with you. Yeah, right. Molly, oh my gosh. You're making your sister more upset. Yeah, Molly. Jeepers, I'm sure she'll text me. I just know it. Two hours later. Seriously? She still hasn't texted me? She's not my best friend anymore. Oh, Daisy, why don't you talk to her at school tomorrow? Maybe she's just sick with the flu or something. Yeah, you're probably right. Don't listen to your sister, Molly. She's just trying to cause trouble. Talk to your new friend tomorrow, and I'm sure she'll come to your sleepover. Good night, sweetheart. Good day, Mom. Thanks for talking to me about this. You're welcome, honey. Sweet dreams. Honey, what are you doing? It's time for school. Playing some Roblox on my phone, duh. Oh, look who it is. It's Rosie. Your frenemy. She's not my frenemy. She's my, my BFF. Your BFF never wants to do anything with you, Daisy. Okay. She does stuff with me. She just doesn't go to sleepovers. I'm sure it's a big misunderstanding. Go away, Molly. Hey, Rosie, good morning. Oh, hey, Daisy. Um, what was your weekend like? Um, well, it would have been better if you answered me about sleeping over tonight. My mom said yes. Oh, sorry, uh, I can't sleep over tonight. How about the next night? No, I can't sleep over the next night either. Okay, does your mom not want you to ever sleep over at my house ever? Why are the lights out at the school? I don't know. That's really creepy. Are we going to be getting a storm soon? No, I just think the janitor forgot to change the light bulbs. Anyway, I, I, I don't understand why you never want to sleep over at my house. Are we even friends? Um, I, I, I just can't, okay? Fine, oh wait, fine. I guess we aren't friends at all. 
Whoa, Daisy, I heard that whole thing. Molly, why are you eavesdropping? Well, I sort of was just walking to class, but then my foot fell asleep. No, it didn't, Molly. You were just listening. Daisy, I just, I don't want you to get hurt anymore. It seems like she just doesn't want to be your friend. She does want to be my friend. I just need to beg her more to, to come to the sleepover. I'm going to text her and beg her. Daisy, listen to me. That had to do it. Daisy, you really did beg her in text. <laughs> yes, Molly. Desperate times come with desperate measures. Besides, I like Rosie. We're so much alike. We're both nerds. We both love the color pink. Ay, ay, ay. My sister will never listen to me. Ooh. Hi, Daisy. Why do you want? I thought we were going to be friends anymore. Look, Daisy. Mmm, this chocolate milk is super good today. I, I'm i sorry that I never said yes to your sleepover. I had a good reason, but I don't want to lose you as my best friend. You're just like me, a flower. That's right. My name is Daisy, just like the flower. That's right. My name is Rosie, just like the flower. We were meant to be BFFs. So, yes, I'll come to your sleepover tonight. Really? Do you need it? Yeah. <laughs> you just seem really nice, so I trust that you won't make fun of me if something goes wrong at the sleepover. What? We could go wrong at the sleepover. It's a sleepover. It's going to be so fun. Uh, yep, it sure will be. Lots of fun. As long as you see my BFF. Of course, Rosie. We're like two beautiful flowers in the garden together. Daisy, why don't you slam the door in my face? Because you're not ruining this sleepover. You wanted to try to tell me that my best friend wasn't my best friend. Sleep outside in a tent. Daisy, open this door right now or I'm texting mom. You better not ruin my sleepover. Uh-oh. All right, I'm just saying that Rosie was acting kind of weird. I knew I should have knocked her out. Daisy, are you making any delicious food for this sleepover? No. Mom gave me permission to order DoorDash. Wow. She didn't say you could eat any. What? I'm sure she's going to let me have some of it. Uh-huh. I don't think so. Let's see. What do I want to order from DoorDash? Ooh, there's so many delicious things. Pizza, popcorn, ice cream, chocolate chip cookies, cheeseburgers. Oh, yeah. I'm going to order all of this. I'm totally ordering all of it. I'm celebrating because... This is the first sleepover I've had with my BFF. Would you order me, Daisy? Huh? 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 I ordered you. Close your eyes. Okay. What do you see? Nothing. Exactly! That's what I ordered you! Daisy! <laughs> well, I just want to let you know that Brookie comes over all the time as my best friend, and she never stands me up for any sleepover ever. Well, good for you. Isn't that so perfect? But right now, I have to get ready because my BFF's coming over. I want to see what movies are on. DoorDash is going to be here soon. Cooking channel? No, no, no. Ooh, gymnastics. That'd be fun to watch. She's here! Hi, Rosie. Come on in. Oh, hi, Daisy. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about this sleepover. What? Who gets nervous about a sleepover? It's going to be so fun. Yeah, I hope so. Don't worry. I'm an expert at giving amazing sleepovers. You're going to have so much fun. Oh, I think the door dash is here. Ooh, this sauce smells so good. I hope you're hungry, Rosie. I got so much stuff from DoorDash. I'm starving. What'd you get? Pizza, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, popcorn, ice cream. Oh my gosh, how am I going to eat all that? And I got soda, orange soda, I know that's your favorite. Oh, that is my favorite, but I, I can't drink anything. What? what? Why, aren't you thirsty? Yeah, but I'll have something to drink tomorrow morning. <laughs> Don't be silly, I got orange soda, your favorite. And we can make orange soda floats with vanilla ice cream. Ooh, they're like root beer floats, but you put orange soda in. They're so good. I'm making you one right now. Wait, Daisy, I said I can't drink anything till tomorrow. It'll be okay, Rosie. Trust me. Try it, Rosie. It's so delicious. Mmm, so good. 
Wow, it is really good. Ugh, I probably shouldn't drink any more of it, though. Don't be ridiculous! You had a sleepover! Live it up, girl! Live it up! Hey, did anybody leave me any DoorDash food? Oh, uh, yeah, Molly, there's some scraps over there in the kitchen. Hey, Molly! Hey, Rosie! Glad you could finally come to a sleepover. Molly! Go away, you're annoying. Uh, I live here, Daisy, so newsflash, I'm going to be here. Uh, but could you be quiet a little bit, because we're watching this movie. I love this movie so far, Daisy. It's really good. I know, right? I love it, too. Hey, hey, hey! Down in front! We can't see what's going to happen! <laughs> Molly! Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. My sister's so embarrassing. I wanted this sleepover to be absolutely perfect. Don't worry, Daisy. <laughs> I don't care if your sister's here or not. See? She doesn't care. Mm, this is delicious. Even if it is just leftover DoorDash. Cute pajamas. I love them. I love polar bears on them. Wow, they're super cute, Daisy. So, um, where should I sleep? Oh, you can just sleep in the bed with me if you want. We could share. My bed is huge. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll just sleep on the floor or in the bathtub or something. <laughs> the bathtub? Don't be ridiculous. Do you sleep in a bathtub at home? Are you a mermaid and I don't know it? <laughs> no, I'm just saying I don't want to take up your bed. I roll around a lot. I'm kind of a bed hog. Don't be ridiculous. Come on. We're best friends. We could chill. Um, uh, 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 uh. What are you having and hawing about? Come on, you need your booty rest. Come on. Oh, I make pancakes in the morning. What are you doing, Dom I, I like to sleep on the floor. Your bed is way too soft. Seriously, that is so uncomfortable. My bed is the most comfortable ever. Just go to sleep, seriously. Ah, okay. Oh, I am pretty tired. Me too. Flooding. Why is my bed all wet? Um, uh, um, uh. Rosie, are you okay? Rosie, stay out, Daisy. Ew, something smells kind of weird. Yeah. Ew, it's my bed. What? Did the dog come up here and pee on my bed or something? Rosie, are you okay? Rosie, Rosie, <gasps> Rosie, what are you doing? Are you wearing baby Kira's diaper? What are you doing? Are you pretending to be a baby? No! <laughs> I just am a baby! <laughs> what? You're not a baby with the same age! What are you talking about? I... I... This is why I never wanted to stay over at your house! <laughs> Rosie, what's wrong? You can talk to me about anything! I'm your best friend! I promise I won't judge you. I I have this problem where I haven't grown out of wetting the bed yet. Say what? <gasps> I know, it's so embarrassing, but it happens to some people. It's just part of something that's happening to my body. Oh, Rosie, I'm so sorry I freaked out. I didn't know that's what was happening. You should have just told me and we would have put down some plastic or something. I'm so humiliated. Don't worry. I wouldn't tell anybody. Daisy, what are you wearing? I'm wearing an adorable outfit that I borrowed for my BFF. Well, I have to admit, that hamster shirt is pretty adorable. Thank you. I feel like a total fashionista. Hey, Daisy. Did you tell anybody about last night? Of course I wouldn't tell anybody, Rosie. It's our little secret that you pee the bed. Thanks. I'm glad you haven't told anybody because it's humiliating. Well, you don't have to be humiliated about me. I'm your BFF no matter what. Besides, it's not your fault. <laughs> Isn't that a juicy little piece of news? <laughs> I got it on Snapchat, too. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite class first thing in the morning. Mine too. This is why we're BFS, because we both love science so much. Oh, 
look, I got a snap. It's from Sarah. Oh, I left my phone in my locker. What's it say? Oh my God. <laughs> what? What? What happened, Rosie? What's wrong? Oh no. Did you tell anybody that I wet the bed? Oh my God. She was recording us. OMG, I knew I shouldn't have come to your house for a sleepover. This is all your fault. What? My fault? I didn't take the Snapchat of us talking. Sarah, how could you? <laughs> well, little Miss Puddles, <laughs> I had to expose her secret. You are such a bully. Rosie, wait. Rosie, I wonder where she went. Hey, look, it's Puddles. Puddles. <laughs> oh, don't make fun of me. It's not my fault. <laughs> hey, guys, have you seen a Rosie? You mean Puddles? Don't call her that. That's rude. Like, you don't have anything wrong with you, Ethel. You're not perfect. We're all human. What? Don't talk to me that way. Of course I'm perfect. I'm a bad <laughs> Well, you're bad at being nice. Goodbye. <laughs> Rosie? I could hear her crying. Rosie? <laughs> there you are, Rosie. Oh, man, Rosie. I'm sorry about all this. I'm sorry that I accused you. It really wasn't your fault. I mean, I should have just never gone to your sleepover. Why? We had so much fun. Who cares if you peed the bed? It's not your fault. I know, but it wasn't very fun the next day when everyone was making fun of me. I know, but come on. Come back to science class. Trust me, I'll stick up for you if anybody tries to bully you. Aww. You really are my best friend. Come on, Rosie. It'll be okay. You know, I want to tell you something, Rosie. I... I'm a little self-conscious about my speech impediment. <gasps> really? I hardly even notice it, Daisy. Well, you're the only one that doesn't. Look, I was just born this way. I'm super smart, but I just talk a little different than everybody else. And I know what it's like to be different and how it can make you feel well less than. But don't let it. You're still amazing. Aw, thanks, Daisy. You're such a good friend. No problem. Now, come on. Let's go be awesome scientists. Well, at least try to be. Okay, who knows the answer to problem number seven? Sarah? Uh, no, I have no idea, but uh, I must have gotten some milk for lunch because my stomach is just kind of like... Uh, uh. Uh, Sarah, quit making excuses. You always want to leave the classroom when I call on you. Just answer number seven. I really have to go to the bathroom. No, Sarah. Oh, you try to skip class and sometimes you succeed. You need to stay here and answer these questions or you're gonna fail. Uh, uh, what was that sound? Uh, Mr. Schellberger, I think one of your experiments is bubbling over. Wait, what? Yeah, and I smell sawful. It smells like a giant fart in you. What's going on with your science experiment? I really have to go to the bathroom. Oh! Um, I'm pretty sure she already did. Oh, man. How embarrassing. Right in the middle of class. Well, I guess now she knows what it feels like to have an accident. It could happen to anybody. Yeah. Pretty sure she's not going to be making fun of me after this one. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure everyone's going to forget that happened to you. She's going to be the new talk of the school. Uh oh. Oh, hey, look, there's Sarah. So, are you going to invite us to your your farty party? Whatever. You don't bully me. I'm the bully. Oh, maybe you can invite us to the poop parade. <laughs> I can't believe you had an accident in school. What are you in preschool? <laughs> Whatever, I'm going home and I'm never coming back here again. <laughs> I don't know why she's so embarrassed. I mean, I fart all the time. Ew, Stephen, gross. See, Bozzy, they already forgot about your drama. So, you want to come spend the night in my house again? Yeah, sure, why not? 
this time, I think we should put down a pee pad. Yeah, exactly. Don't worry about anything, though. I totally know your secret, and I don't care at all. You're my BFF Aww. for life, Daisy. And you're my BFF, Daisy. I'm so glad you're my friend. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Congratulations, Brookie. You got a great grade on your math test. I did? Oh my gosh, I studied so hard this week. You sure did. Great job. And Daisy, you also got a great grade. Of course I did. I always get a great grade in math class. Sam, you got a B plus. That's really good. It's a big improvement from your last test. Well, I, I worked a lot in my workbook this week, and so I think my grades are going to keep getting better and better. Great! And wait, where's Molly? Again! Uh-oh! Um, she missed the bus! Oopsie! Ugh, oh, that girl is never on time for school, ever! I'm here! what I miss? what I miss? Uh, Molly, you missed getting your test back. Uh, I didn't miss anything too important then. <laughs> Molly, you were the only one in class that failed your test. I'm going to have to call your mom. This is starting to get serious. Ooh. What? No, don't call my mom. Oh, she's going to ground me for life. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, 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 look who we have here. Hi, Mama. How was your day? I hope it was great. It was great, Molly. Do you have something you'd like to show me? Uh, how about this beautiful smile? I'm just so happy to see you. <laughs> Marty, she means your failing test. Dizzy, shh, be quiet. <laughs> yeah, um, Mom, I got an A on my test. Congratulations. And Molly, your teacher called. May I please see your test? Uh, I don't know. I lost it. Molly, now please. Okay, here you go. Oh, Molly, another failing grade? Oh, I'm going to have to talk to your father about this. Oh, no. Please don't ground me, Mom. Please. Molly, go to your room and do some studying. Oh, okay. How about I play Roblox for a little bit? Molly, don't push your luck. Oh, uh, okay. Woo, that made a great Snapchat. Daisy, I can't believe you. You're so rude. Oh, I feel like I'm never going to understand this math. I'm such an ignoramus. Oh, I keep failing and failing and failing. Whoa, good to see you studying for a change, Molly. But I'm afraid mm, you may fail the year anyway. What? No, I have to be in the same grade with my BFF. Yes, I know that's important to you to be with Brookie, but the truth of the matter is you failed so many tests, I don't think there's any turning it around now. You're probably going to have to repeat your grade. No! Mom, no! I'll do anything! Anything? Okay, well, we'll talk about this more in the morning. Come on, it's time for bed. Okay, please, Mom, I, I don't want to fail! I know you don't, Molly. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll worry about it in the morning, okay? Okay, Mom. Good night! Oh, no. All of my studying, and, and I'm still going to fail? Well, I mean, I only just studied tonight. <laughs> I guess I should have studied many, many other times, but you know, I just, I don't want to fail. Huh? What? What, what time is it? Nine o'clock! Oh God, I'm late for school again, again, again! Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at school! Oh, why didn't my mom wake me up? What's going on? What's going on? Mom! Mom, where are you? Mom! Oh my gosh, I hope she can drive me to school. I missed the school bus. I overslept again! Oh! Mom? 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 Mom! Where are you? Oh, Molly, I was in the bathroom brushing my teeth. What? Why are you yelling? Mom! Well, I'm, I overslept. I thought you were going to wake me up. Oh, it's okay, Molly. What? But but the teacher said if I was late and I failed any more tests, I was going to fail for the year. I don't want to fail for the year. It means I won't be with Brookie anymore. 
Oh, no, Molly. <laughs> You're not going to school today. Wait, what? Was school canceled? Snow day! Molly, <laughs> it's not the middle of winter. Of course it's not a snow day. Then why? Why was school canceled? Is there another solar eclipse? No, your sister went to school, but you're going to be staying home from now on. Wait, what? Did I get expelled from school? No. Look, school hasn't been working for you for a while, Molly. And we have to try something different. What do you mean something different? Are you sending me to a private school where I have to wear a uniform? And, 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 and I, I don't have any fun time at all? No, Molly. We are going to be, well, homeschooling you. Wait, what? No, uh, no, 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 no. Then I'm never going to see my friends, especially not my BFF. I'm sorry, Molly. There's no other choice. You have to be homeschooled because, well, <sighs> this is your only option to pass the year. But mom, I thought you didn't even like school. No, I don't like homework. I don't like having to do all the schoolwork. But I like the school lunches. Ooh, pizza. And I like hanging out with my friends. And I like gym class. And I like recess. And I, I don't want to stay home. Sorry, Molly, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Speaking of cookies, I left a chocolate chip in the refrigerator for you. Oh, well, thanks. Now, why don't you go get dressed? Why, can I go to school? Please, please, please. No, Molly, I'll see you after work. Oh, my God. I can't believe my mom's going to try to homeschool me. I'm just going to get dressed. I'm sure I can talk her into driving me to school. Mom, I I'm ready to go to school. I promise I'm going to start getting better grades. I promise. Mom? M mom? Oh, maybe she's doing some laundry. Where is my mom? Mom? She been in the bathroom? Nope. Okay, I'm going to call her because I don't know what she's doing right now, but obviously... She, like, left the house. Maybe she went for some Dunkin' Donuts or something. Hey, Molly, what is it? Mom, where did you go? I went upstairs and brushed my teeth and got dressed, and you're, like, gone. Did you go to get Dunkin', and can you drive me to school? Molly, I told you already, you're going to be homeschooled. But you're not even here to homeschool me. That's because I'm at work. We'll start your homeschooling when I get home. What? But, Mom... That means at night, I'm not going to be able to see any of my friends anymore. Well, maybe on Saturdays when we're not homeschooling. Mom, this stinks. Are you even listening? Mom. Molly, this is what we have to do. Ugh. Mom. I have to go back to work, Molly. We'll start your homeschooling as soon as I get done with work. Bye. Bye. Oh, I can't believe my mom. This is going to be the worst day ever. I'm going to miss my friend. I'm going to miss her and all the other people at school, too. I never thought I'd say this, but I kind of am even going to miss Sarah. Ugh. One hour later. So bored. So bored. No one to talk to. Nothing to do. Ugh. Hey, wait a minute. I just thought about something. None of my friends are on Roblox right now. But I bet some kids from other countries are probably on right now. Because, uh, their timing is different than ours, so... Uh, it's probably much later there. And I'll have someone cool to play Roblox with! What? Internet disconnected? Ow! What is going on? Yes, Molly, what is it? Mom, the internet is not working! I know. <laughs> I had it blocked. No Roblox. You should be studying. Ooh. What? Mom, I want to play Roblox. I'm not going to have any free time. You're going to be at work all day and I have to study. And then when you come home, I have to homeschool. What about fun time? Molly, right now, all you have to do is concentrate on getting through this grade and passing. So no fun time. <laughs> wow. Oh. OMG. Well, she can't stop me from watching TV. What? All that's on is this raccoon show? Being homeschooled so lame! Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I can use my phone to watch some TV. Yeah, maybe some YouTube or something. Or the Amazon app. Ah, that's more like it. Honey, I am home! What? I just started watching something on my phone. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. It's time for homeschool. Ugh, really? Do we have to? Yes, Molly. Head over to the computer and we'll start our work. Ugh. You mean the internet finally works? Can I play Roblox? No, Molly. What we need to do is lots of schoolwork. Starting with math. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Molly, I can't believe you're being homeschooled. Hi, Brookie. Uh, now's not a good time. Molly's actually doing her homeschooling. Wait, what? You have to do your homeschool after school? Yeah. It really stinks. Do you want to come outside and play soccer for a little while? No! Sorry, Brookie. She can't come outside and play soccer. She's doing her schoolwork. Yeah. It's terrible. Oh, man, Molly. I feel like we're never going to see each other anymore. Uh-oh. I know. I thought failing this grade would be the worst thing ever. But not being able to see you at all is the worst thing ever! Come on, Molly. Molly, did you turn Roblox back on? Come on. Pull up your homework so we can get started. Ugh. Everything's homework now because I go to school at home! Ah! Hey, everybody! How's homeschooling going? Terrible! I don't think it's going so bad. Okay, Molly, why don't you answer number three? Oh, that's easy. It's um, B. Daisy, please let your sister answer. B! Wow. Okay, we'll have fun going to school after school. I'm going outside to play soccer with Bookie. <laughs> All right, Molly, can you give me the answer to number three, please? My brain hurts so bad. It's never had to work so hard before. Mom, you're such a bad teacher. You're mean and strict. Molly, seriously, let's just get this done, okay, before it's 10 o'clock at night? Fine. The answer is A. What? No, Molly, have you not been paying attention at all? I am paying attention, Mom. I'm just an ignoramus. Molly, don't say that. Mom, please, let me go back to school, please. Three hours later. Molly, we're only on question number 10. Please understand this work. Oh, I have to get up for work in the morning in just a few hours. I don't understand. Ugh, I give up. I'm always going to be dumb. Molly, you're not dumb. You just learn different than other people. And I'm not sure I'm the qualified teacher for you. Maybe we should send you back to school. Wait, what? Are you serious? Well, there's going to be some rules. Obviously, I'm not a very good teacher. Oh, I thought I was going to be good at homeschooling. And I thought you'd do better here, but it seems that you aren't getting the schoolwork here either. That tells me that you need someone to explain it to you that, well, understands how you learn. Really? Someone could teach me how I learn? Yeah. That person is a special teacher called a tutor. Now, here's the rules if you go back to regular school. One, you will do your homework and you will study for one hour every night. And every other night, you will work for one hour with the tutor. So that means at 5.30, you can go out with your friends. Really? Yep. You can go out with your friends until seven o'clock when we eat dinner. Oh. At least I'll get to see Brookie for an hour and a half. That's way better than never. Do you agree to these rules, Molly? Yes, Mom, I agree. I will do my best to do my homework and study for one hour every night. And then every other night, spend one hour with the tutor. Great. Oh, I'm so relieved because I am terrible at teaching. But I'm sure the tutor is going to be able to teach you in a way you can learn. Okay, Molly, so what is the answer to question number three? Well, Mr. A, it looks like it's, um, D. Correct! Really? I'm not an ignoramus? Nah, you just needed someone to teach you exactly how you learn. Wow, this is amazing, miraculous even. Okay, Molly, I think that's enough for today. Really? I can go play with my friends? You sure can. Great job. I'll see you in two days. Thank you. Ah, oh, phew. I'm not going to fail my grade. And 
I like my tutor, and I don't feel dumb, and Brookie is going to be here any minute. Hey, Molly. Oh, you scared me. I didn't even hear you sneak up behind me. <laughs> I'm so ready to hang out with you, Molly. I've missed you the last few days. Me too. I'm glad that I get to come back to school tomorrow. Well, just don't forget who the biggest brain in the school is. Uh, not for long, Daisy. I have a tutor, and I'm getting smarter by the day. Well, we may be genetically related, but you're nothing like me. <laughs> That's right. My brain's even bigger. Take that back, Molly. Nope. My brain is bigger. My brain is bigger. <laughs> subscribe button guys today we're playing good or bad abby and everybody knows where molly's gonna be i'm gonna be a perfect little angel sure you are molly sure i think one of us should be an angel and one of us should be a demon um well then you should obviously be the demon <laughs> molly you're the one that gets attention all the time you have to be the demon okay fine i'm the demon <laughs> And I'm a beautiful angel. I'm a beautiful angel, huh? Molly, quit being so rude. No, I don't have to be. I'm a demon, so I can be as rude as I want. <laughs> All right, um, you can be good or bad on this level, it says. But you cannot go on the angel side if you're a demon. And you cannot go on the demon side if you're an angel. Mm. So this Abby is definitely different, guys. If you think it's cool, slam that like button. So here I am, guys, on the demon side because my sister made me choose to be a demon. Yeah. Molly, you're a demon all on your own. I'm beating her right now. Yeah, because you're a cheater, cheater, pumpkin, demon. Person. <gasps> what? No, I'm not. Because cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Yes, but you're a cheater, cheater because you're a demon. Bum, 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 ba -da -ba -da bum, 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 bum. So if I try to go on the light side over here, it lets me... <laughs> Seriously? Oh, no, I died. <laughs> you can buy a can't die immunity, though, but I don't know why you do that and play an obby. Like, that's not very fun. I'm already at stage eight. I'm beating Daisy so horribly right now because I am so much better at being a demon than she is at being an angel. Maybe she's really a demon. <laughs> she just doesn't want to admit it to herself. Whatever, Molly. I'm right behind you, by the way. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. She is right behind me, guys. I'm going to hurry. I got a Herbie, got to use these demon wings to get farther ahead than her. That was a terrible demon song. Yeah, I got to work on my demon delivery here. Like, seriously, that was that was not a good song. I'll even admit it. Wait, what's this? I, oh, I have to, I get to go around? Is that what it is? Oh, and then I get a ladder. Cool. All right, let's see who beats the other person at this part, Daisy. It's going to be me. Cause I'm an angel. Oh, it was like a tie, Daisy. But now I am beating you. I am a cute little demon. Well, you can't be a cute little demon. Demons are evil. Look at me, guys. Do you think I'm cute? Ah! I just died. Oh, my God. I didn't mean to die there. Do you guys think I'm a cute demon? Slam the like button if you think I am. I think I'm adorable. Bling. Boing, boing. Ha <laughs> ha, see you later. The good and the light always wins, Molly. We'll see about that. <laughs> ah, if I don't die. Which is seeming pretty hard not to. Holy guacamole. Ah, 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 what? Oh, I can't go down those stairs. It tricked me. So many stairs, so many stairs. Oh, Daisy died too. Whatever, Molly, I didn't mean to. Uh, you never do, Daisy. You never do. All right, guys. We're about a quarter of the way through this obby. Look, you can pay to finish the obby. I just want to see how much that is. Because, like, why would you pay money to finish this obby? 500 Robux, guys, to cheat and go all the way to the end. You should definitely buy it, Molly. I would, but there's some giant, amazing donuts right here. Oh, they're so good. 
But I don't eat too many. You get a stomach ache. Ow. Listen to this angel over here. Don't eat too many donuts. Good thing I'm a demon. I can do whatever I want, and I want to eat all these donuts. Okay, suit yourself. Get a stomach ache. Get a stomach ache, man. You're annoying. You said something mean. You're not an angel after all. Uh, whatever, Molly. I tried to be nice to you, but you're just so... What? Demony? <laughs> Alright, this is like an old school obby, like before like Packstabber and all those guys came out with the super awesome obbies where it was like you're actually playing a story. These are just like kind of run of the mill obbies, but what is that? It's like I went through like a giant thing of trash. But it's cool because you get to be either be an angel or a demon. That's what makes this obby so cool. Yeah. My sister is a nagging angel. You ever hear one of those? Uh-oh! Whatever, I'm just trying to do the most good, Molly. I bet. I bet, Daisy. All right, I think these are disappearing stairs, guys. Look, they, they match my body and my wings. That is so awesome. Guys, if you would play this obby, slam that like button. I think it's pretty cool, and we're halfway through. Stage 29, guys, and we've only been playing for, like, five minutes so i think that's amazing guys don't you i think that's so amazing what just happened look at i have like an evil little face too all right i think this one next one is like a tricksy one all right there we go made it giant slices of pizza mm. even after you ate all of those donuts gluttony is a sin molly what I want to eat all the donuts and pizza. I love them. If eating donuts and pizza is wrong, I don't want to be right. All right, um, right, let's go through these glass walls and see if I can not die. Oh, I was doing so good, and then I died at the end. Here, then here, then here, then here. Bum, ba, da, da. Oh, this is, like, this is like a roller coaster without the cart. <laughs> I ate so much pizza right now, guys. It was delicious. I'm not even gonna lie. I ate pizza in real life today, too. Oh, it was so good. I had pepperoni and cheese. My two favorite things. What do you... Oh, my gosh. I was thinking about pizza, and then I died. What's your favorite thing to eat on a pizza, guys? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you like anchovies? What? Do you really, guys? Don't lie. Do you like pineapples? Maybe you're from California. I know they eat um, pineapple on their pizza there. I know because I took a trip to California once to this place called Carmel by the Sea and I got pizza there. By the way, it was beautiful there. Um, but yeah, you have to be like uh, mega, 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 mega rich to live there permanently. So I just, I visited and we went to a pizza shop and guess what guys? Um, mm. All of their pizza pretty much had um, pineapple. And I was like, um, I don't eat pineapple on my pizza. And they were like, what? Get out. Just kidding. They didn't tell me to get out. But they were like, well, I guess we could take the pineapple off the pizza for you. But why? Why would you do something so awful to your pizza? I'm like, um, I'm from the east. And we don't eat pineapple on our pizza here. We just eat pepperoni. They're like, ew, pepperoni, gross. <laughs> Well, Molly, this was a crazy story. You're getting very far behind on this abbey. Well, it was a very important one to tell people. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is trying to make me slide off and die. Uh oh That's not very nice. The demon will curse you. Just remember that. Oh, my God. There are lava squares here. Definitely not nice. You can be good or bad on this level. I'm just going to be me, Molly. Sometimes good, sometimes have these little demon horns. But always me. Never give up and never surrender. You can do anything. Never give up and never surrender. I am a demon. That's not how it goes, Molly. For today it is, because I'm playing this demon obby. It's a good or evil obby, not just a demon obby. Well, I'm the one that's making this video. So I say it's a demon obby. Oh, how do I even live with her as a sister? Boing, boing. Guys, I wondered the same thing. So I thought about moving out and I made a video about it. 
you guys want to watch it, it's on my best friend Brookie Fitness channel, Gaming with Brookie. And, um, I think you guys will think it's pretty cool. Yeah, did you like living by yourself, Molly? Today, I'm thinking it'd be a good idea, Daisy. I'm thinking it would be a good idea. Me too, see you. Uh oh Oh my gosh, I'm jumping on pitchforks. Daisy is jumping on clouds. All right, that's pretty cute. <laughs> Boing. All right, where's my level? You can be good or bad on this level, Molly. Okay, good. Whew. I only died a few times. That was pretty good. Oh, this ladder's gonna be forever, isn't it? We're going to the top of the noob. Then what? Then we're about to win, Molly! Wee! <laughs> that slide was fun. I wanna play as uh, an angel next time. Uh huh. You probably won't even be allowed. What? Why? Because you're so naughty. We're gonna be like, nope, you kicked out of the game. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, look at when I go for the black, you can't even see my horns. You might not be able to see them, but we all know it's still the Omari. Um, where is Daisy going? Going up to the sky with all the other angels. Guess where you're going? <laughs> Detention? Something like that, Molly. Something like that. Um, guys, I don't like where this is heading. This seems like bad. I'm just keep going down all these stairs. More stairs, more stairs. Uh-oh. One eternity later. Uh-oh. Well, I made it to the end. Even though I had to go down, 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 down where the demons live. <laughs> All right, guys. Where's my sister? I'm in heaven. Oh, my gosh. Where'd you get those balloons? I want them. Only angels get them. <laughs> Whoa, that's so rude. Uh-oh! She's getting angry! Watch out for Demon Molly! <laughs> Wait, what? They're a demon and an angel? I'm so confused right now. Okay, class. For the most part, everyone's grades on this test were really, really good. Well, except for a certain somebody. Molly, uh, will you stay after class, please? Uh-oh! Hey, me? Why me? I don't need to stay after class. I think we all know why you need to stay after class, Molly. Daisy, be quiet. You're such a goody two-shoes. No one cares what you have to say. Ow. Okay, Molly, that's enough. Unless, of course, you'd like to go to the principal. Uh-oh! No. no, I don't need to go to the principal. Staying after class is bad enough. Mrs. Smith, you wanted to see me after class? Yes, Molly, I did want to see you after class. Your test score is, again, terrible. <gasps> All of your test scores have been atrocious this year. If I don't start seeing an improvement in your grades, I'm afraid I'm going to have to fail you for the year. <laughs> Say what? Fail me for the year? I, 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 I wouldn't be with my best friend Brookie in class anymore. I would be a year behind. No, no, this can't be happening. Molly, I'll give you one more opportunity to get a good test score, or I'm afraid it's inevitable. You are going to have to repeat this grade again. Hey there, Molly. It's pizza day, your favorite. I'm not really very hungry. What? You never stop being hungry. Do you have the stomach bug? No, just not. Hungry. <laughs> Molly, what's wrong? Oh my god, are you okay? No. I just got this test score and it's another failing grade. <laughs> Mrs. Smith said if I get one more bad test score, I'm gonna fail for the year. Holy guacamole! You're gonna fail for the entire year? That's not good, Molly. All those times I told you to do your homework. Daisy! Stop lecturing me right now. Can't you see? I'm super sad. I have to agree with Molly right now, Daisy. I don't know if lecturing her is going to be the best thing. She is really upset. Well, Molly, there's only one thing to do. What? Run away? No, Molly, not run away. You can't run away from your problems. You have to face them. And since I'm your sister and I'm the smartest girl in the school, I'll tutor you. Wow. What? I don't think so. Molly, come on! You know that I can help you! 
Only, I think you should take your sister up on this offer. She definitely can help you. Uh. Okay, Molly, just log into the account for school. Molly, why do you want Roblox? Because it's going to be so much more fun. I give up. Ooh. Molly, you can't give up. You're going to fail for the year. Seriously, log in. All right, fine. You're the worst student ever. Uh -oh. Hey, thanks for the pep talk. Maybe you're the worst sister ever. Molly, do you want my help or not? Yes, I want your help. I guess. Okay, now let's look at this first math problem. Is the answer A, B, or C? Um. Uh. Uh. Molly, why are you making that weird face? Did Ooh. you eat a big burrito today? No, my brain is just working extra, extra, extra hard. <laughs> I got it. It's B. What? No, that's Ignoramus Ansel. That's not it at all. It's A. Oh, what? No, it's not. It's B. My brain worked really hard to calculate that. Yeah, and it calculated it wrong. No wonder you keep failing. Hey, if you're going to be rude, then then I don't have to have you help me. Uh-oh. Why don't you just sit down and do what I tell you to? I don't think so, Daisy. I think I'd rather be in a different universe than you. What? I'm just trying to help you. By calling me Ignoramus? That's just rude. Go away, Daisy. Ah! Molly, you're going to fail. Get back here. You're not in charge of me, Daisy. You're not my boss. Oh, my sister is so annoying. I don't know what I'm going to do, but she can't be my tutor. I need to find a bigger brain than Daisy. One that's not so mean either. Who has a bigger brain than Daisy? <laughs> I know. Abigail, she's the biggest nerd in our school. All I have to do is become best friends with her and all my troubles will be over. Hey, Molly. Hey, Brookie, I don't have time right now. Uh, when has she not had time for me? I'm her BFF. Uh, maybe she just had to run to the bathroom or something. Yeah. There's Abigail. Who would have guessed? She's in the study area, making your brain even bigger than it already is. Hey, Abigail. Um, hi. Uh, your best friend isn't here right now. Huh, what? No, I'm here to talk to you. What? You've never talked to me before in your life. I know, but I want to talk to you right now. You seem so cool. You want to be my best friend? What? No. Can't you see I'm doing something? I'm figuring out some math calculations. What? We didn't have math homework. I know. I just do this for fun. <laughs> You're kidding, right? No. How do you think my brain is the biggest in the school? <gasps> Don't let my sister Daisy hear you that. She'd be super jealous if she knew you were the one that had the biggest brain. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. Really? You think I have the biggest brain in the whole school? Yeah. You're amazing. <laughs> uh, you want to sit by me at lunch today? Um, yeah. Okay, sure. Perfect. See you then, Abigail. Abigail, over here, over here. Uh-huh, I see you, Molly. I saved you a seat. Oh, thanks so much. Want some pizza? No, I can't have any pizza. It has pepperoni on it. I'm allergic to pepperoni. Whoa, that really stinks. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to have a banana. I didn't get to see you this morning. Uh, Brookie, sorry. That seat's taken. What? I always sit by you at lunch. Yeah, but not today. Abigail is sitting there. Molly, you always save me a seat. You didn't save me a seat? No, sorry. But, but... You're gonna have to get up. Hurry, Abigail's coming back. Okay. Fine. Abigail, there. Your seat's, your seat's empty. Okay, there you go. So why did you want to sit by me at lunch, Molly? Hey, Bucky, what's what's going on? Whoa, you look really sad. Are you okay? No, not really. There's something really weird going on with your sister. Tell me about it. She's a real ignoramus. She didn't even want me to, to tutor her. She just wants to fail for the year, I guess. Wait, what? She didn't have you tutor her? And she doesn't want me as her best friend anymore. Wait, what? That doesn't sound right, Bookie. You guys have been friends forever. Yeah, well, 
She didn't want to talk to me this morning. She was too busy. And she didn't save me a seat at lunch either. What has gotten into her? The reason why I wanted to sit by you at lunch is because I think you're so cool. And I think we should be good friends because we have a lot in common. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You and I have nothing in common. You never do your homework. You fail all your tests. You'd rather goof off than do anything school related. Ow. You don't even like reading about math or science or anything. We're complete and total opposites. <laughs> have something in common. Yeah, right. So basically, why do you want to hang out with me, Molly? She has a point. Think fast, Molly. Think fast. <laughs> Got it. Um, I know that you have a rivalry with my sister, Daisy. But who's got the biggest brain? And I'm going to help you prove that it's you once and for all. <gasps> okay, I'm listening. Well, you see, the teacher told me that if I fail one more test, <laughs> I'm going to fail for the year. I'm the biggest dunce in this entire school. Ooh. And my sister tried to tutor me, and she failed. Uh -oh. But you have the biggest brain ever. If you can help the class loser actually get a good grade, It'll be proof that you have the biggest brain, Abigail. Wow, I like the sound of that. I'll meet you at your house right after school. Perfect. Hey, Molly. Oh, hey, Bricky. I've just got to get my backpack and head home. Can we talk for a minute, Molly? Could we talk tomorrow or something? Uh-oh. Um, I would really like to talk to you right now. Sorry, but I'm meeting my friend Abigail after school today, like right at 3.30 sharp. I I've got to go. But Molly, sorry, we can talk tomorrow or next week or something. Ah! I I lost my best friend. And to who? That Abigail girl? They don't even have anything in common. <laughs> Hello, Abigail. Hello, Daisy. Are you here to see my sister, Abigail? Uh, yeah. Is she home? We were supposed to meet here at 3.30 sharp. Good luck. She never's on time for anything. I'm here. I'm here. I I'm on time. I swear it. Wow. Oh, hey, Molly. There you are. <laughs> well, come on. Let's get started on your homework. I'm going to tutor you so good that everyone's going to know I'm the biggest brain there ever was. Okay. Anything you say, Abigail. Just help me pass this test. Okay, so the first is a word problem. If Micah has four bean burritos, and Terry has three bean burritos, and Sarah has four bean burritos, um, and you take away two bean burritos from Terry, how many bean burritos does everyone have left? Um, farts. What? What are you talking about? Uh, it doesn't really matter how many bean burritos are actually left. The only thing you have to be afraid of is all the farts. <laughs> Bully, take this seriously. I am. Bean burritos give lots of gas. The question should be, how many farts will be in the room? Molly! Seriously, take this to the extreme seriousness. Okay, okay. Well, I thought Daisy was a real, well... Meanie pants. Five hours later. How much more of this do I have to do, Abigail? I was wondering the same thing. Just answer the next problem, Molly. Um, A. What? No! Oh, I give up. Yeah, me too. I'm going for a snack. Wait a minute. A snack? That's it. <laughs> Follow me into the kitchen, Molly. Why, are you hungry too? No, but I'm going to prove once and for all that I have the biggest brain in the entire school. Molly, do you see these delicious tacos? Yeah, give me them, give me them. Hands off, Molly. What, no, you want to let me eat those, right? Ha, ha, ha. I'll make you a deal. If you can answer this question correctly, you can eat all of the tacos. Wow. Really? Oh, wait a minute. But I'm not very smart. How will I answer correctly? Trust me, I think you're going to get this just fine, Molly. Look at these tacos. Now, if I had 100% of the tacos, then it would all be mine, correct? Uh, yeah, but why would you get 100% of the tacos? I want 100% of the tacos. 
Oh, Molly, see? You're already learning the math you're supposed to. Really? Yeah, percentages. Now, if I took away half the tacos, what would you have left? 50%. Ha ha ha! It's so working. Apparently, you just need to think of math as, well, food. So, Ed, you're getting your test tomorrow. Just imagine every question is food. Oh, Abigail, now I see why you do have the biggest brain. <laughs> yep, I'm about to prove it to everyone. <laughs> well, I hope you don't use that big brain power to turn out to be a supervillain someday. Uh -oh. Hey, Abigail, do you ever do anything fun, like ever, in your entire life? Yeah, learning is fun. I love math and science. No, I mean... You taught me something today. I'm going to teach you something. Come on. What are you doing, Molly? What's happening? <laughs> We're going to play a game. What? No, I don't like games. Yeah, you'll love it. Trust me. You can borrow my sister's skateboard. What? I don't ride skateboard. Yeah, you do now. Come on. It's going to be fun. Um, I'm not so sure about this, Molly. Live a little, Abby. Live a little. Come on. Oh my god, Molly, this is a really big hill! You can do it, Abigail! Come on! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy! Yeah, watch this! <laughs> you can go off the diving board and flip it in the pool. Oh, uh, this is like a bad idea! It's a great idea! <laughs> Come on, Abigail! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Woo! <laughs> Wait, where'd she go? Abigail? Abigail? Well, there goes the biggest brain in school. Yay! Molly, over here! That was so crazy! I went to Brookhaven Outer Space! <laughs> Did you learn something while you were up there? Real life, you know? Like, you just learned about that in science class, and now you actually went there for real. It was so cool! I guess I just need to take a break from school and learning sometimes. Yeah, and I guess sometimes I actually need to study and, like, pay attention in school and like do my homework and stuff at least like once in a while yeah i guess we both can learn something from each other molly exactly the next day Brookie, are you okay no molly i'm not okay apparently you don't have time for your best friend anymore what oh i i'm so sorry brookie i, I i've been really busy lately yeah with Abigail. Yo, Molly, what's up? Oh my gosh, I had so much fun hanging out with you last night. <laughs> I rode my skateboard to school. Wait, you went and bought a skateboard? Yeah, it's so awesome, right? Wait a minute, you didn't have time for me, but you hung out with Abigail? <gasps> oh, we really aren't best friends anymore. Brookie? Ugh, just let her go. You have me now, Molly. No, Brookie's like my, been my best friend since preschool. Well, it's a good thing I'm your best friend too because you wouldn't have passed this test without me. Molly, you made Brookie really have her feelings. Oh, hello, Abigail. Oh, hello, Daisy. Uh-oh. Okay, I know you guys are like completely arch nemesis. Someone smack or she's stuck. Molly, step out of it! Oh, yeah, arch nemesis. Okay, Molly, that's enough of that. Anyway, you guys are more alike than you think. I think you guys could be BFFs. What? Never. Uh oh. Never. Okay, Molly, now's your chance to prove I've got the biggest brain. What? What are you talking about? You can even tutor your sister, right? You obviously don't have the biggest brain. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? If it was up to you, she'd fail every single test from here on out. But because she had me, big brain Abigail, she's finally learning how to do her math homework. And she's going to pass this grade so easily, you just watch. Well, I tried to tutor her, but she's a pain in the butt. Ow. Uh, okay, I'm just going to just go ahead and go to class now. You two have fun arguing. <laughs> I can't believe Daisy. I can't believe Molly. I can't believe Abigail. 
I can't believe it! I got an A on my test! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I'm the best in the school! Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Molly. It's me, Jason. And today, guys, we have 100 hacks and secrets in Brookhaven to show you guys. And this first one is, like, so crazy. You see, I almost didn't want to tell you about it because I felt like you might not want to do it. Why? Are we going to get in trouble at Roblox? Well, um, so every time I tested this hack before we started making this video, I kept getting disconnected from the game. I think it might actually ban us. What? Ban us? Are you crazy? Maddie, do you think we should do this? I don't know. Guys, I'm doing this. I want to show you guys um, what's going to happen when we keep doing this hack and we get disconnected. Because I don't even know myself. So the first thing we need to do is go down and get this new, like, government science lab thing. Wait, what? A new science lab? <gasps> Ooh. Daisy, this has been around for a little bit now. Have you just been doing homework, like, with your entire life? Yeah, pretty much. But I'm drooling over this science lab. Look at it. <gasps> Big goals for my adulthood. <laughs> Guys, next I'm going to spawn this adorable little car right here. And get in, Daisy. Molly, I can't get in. There's a baby there. Oh, well, I guess you're going to have to ride in the back. But, but, okay, fine. Hey, baby safety comes first. Well, then you should definitely not be driving. Hey, I don't think I'm that bad of a driver. Look at me! Yeah, look at you running into the wall. Good thing that there's not actual, like, military people guarding us. You'd be kicked out in no time. Molly, this is taking forever. Let me drive, pug! Okay, my sister wants to drive because she thinks I'm a bad driver. And, well, she may have a little bit of a point. <laughs> Just a little one. Molly, climb on the back. Okay, I did. Wow, Daisy, you're really making me look bad with driving through those doors on the first try. Well, I'm an awesome survival. I have to be. My son is in here. Oh, very funny. All right, guys. So now what you want to do is um go into the surgical testing room. Guys, look at this in here. This is crazy. If you touch this, like these buttons, look at all this crazy stuff it does. But we're looking for one that we definitely want to use. And that is this giant like water water tornado guys you can swim all the way up look at this oh <laughs> look at this oh my god that's so cool all right guys so what i want to do is float my little purple car well i'm sw look at i was swimming like outside of it that was weird all right i want to float my purple car in this water but every time i've tried it the game has disconnected me so i don't know what's gonna happen we better not get banned, Molly. I love Brookhaven. Guys, we're going to test this for you. We don't know what's going to happen. All right, Daisy. Back up and floor it. Here we go, guys. Oh, my God. She's floating in the water. What? We got disconnected again? OMG, Molly. This is definitely a hack that Brookhaven does not want you to do. Uh, Yeah, but it was cool. We floated our car in the water. That was amazing. I know, but if it's disconnecting you every time, it's a bad idea, Molly. Don't click reconnect. I'm clicking reconnect because, guys, I want to see what happens if you do this a bunch of times. All right, guys, here's the second try. We're back down into the science lab here with our car. It only took Daisy like five tries to get down here. What? Okay, yeah, it did. It's kind of a tight space. All right, so she's going to try it from this angle now, and we're going to see if we get disconnected again. Molly, I, I don't think we should do it. I I think we should do it a third time because I'm feeling like it's just going to disconnect us. It's not going to actually ban us or anything. This time, when Daisy floats the car in the water, she's going to jump out and try swimming. And we're going to see if the car <laughs> still stays up there and if we get disconnected. Okay, Molly, here goes nothing. All right, guys. Daisy, did you get out? Oh, my God. Daisy got out. And that time we didn't get disconnected. 
Whoa. Okay, buddy, let's try it again. I don't think you can swim, like, swim in it, though. Once you jump out, the car just falls. Yeah, I think so, Molly, but let's try to float the car for at least five seconds. Yeah, let's do this. It goes nothing. Okay, that floated it not in the water. Let's just, like, float it in the water. I'm trying, Miss Peaky. It's not like this is the easiest hack in the world. It's a very small space to drive your car around in, Molly. Can you imagine if this was real life and you were, like, ruining your car to float it in the water? That'd be a very bad idea. All right, guys. I kind of want to see what it looks like from above when she floats the car. So I'm just going to go up here and we can take a look and see. Okay, guys? All right, Daisy. We're ready when you are. Let's see if we can see Daisy. Okay, Daisy. I don't really see you. Yeah. Um, no, you do, Molly. You do. <laughs> that was so weird. Okay, I was sort of, like, swimming up there. Oh, man, now you're stuck, aren't you, Daisy? Uh, nope, I'm not stuck. I'm just floating. Ah! Molly, they really do not want you to do this hack in Brookhaven. We should stop now before someone bans us. Banch, man. -la 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 I'm doing it again, and I'm going to see if I can float the car for five seconds or longer. This time I'm going to ride in the back. Here we go, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> Whoa! It glitched me up into the ceiling! Alright, let's try again. Oh my god, guys! That is so cool! I cannot believe this! This is amazing! We're like floating in the water! Oh! Ho, ho, ho! Wait! What? Molly! It says we've been banned for 24 hours! Wait, no, this can't be right! We're Roblox video stars! I don't think they care, Molly! It says we've been banned! O-M-G! That's so cool. And also, not so cool. Guys, I can't believe we actually found a hack that would get us banned in Brookhaven. Make sure you watch these next videos to watch 99 other hacks and secrets we found in Roblox. All right, guys. I guess we'll see you in 24 hours. Yeah. I guess you gotta do your homework, Molly. Not a chance! Daisy and Luke in the car together. Are they boyfriend and girlfriend? What? No. Everybody knows that Luke likes me, not my sister. Well, they're pulling up to the pizzeria together, Molly. So, <gasps> so, so what? Uh, Daisy probably just gave him a ride. Hey guys, what's up? I, uh, Luke just texted me and said he needed a ride. <laughs> See, told you. Would have been nice if he gave me a ride. Sorry, Molly, you were going over to pick up Luke. Hey, everybody. Oh, hey, Luke. <laughs> What's up? Not much. Uh, Daisy just gave me a ride because she's really, I mean, really nice. <gasps> oh, <laughs> thank you. So, um, we're going to go get pizza? Yeah, I thought so. Rosa Pizza is, like, the best. Except for if you count going to Chuck E. Cheese. What? Chuck E. Cheese? I haven't been there since I was, like, baby, a baby or something. <laughs> yeah, I think the last time we went, we were, like, three or four years old. I totally want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. It's so fun there. And a little bit creepy. Chucky is like something from my worst nightmares. Wrong Chucky, Molly. Nope, 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 nope. I'm talking about Chuck E. Cheese, the giant creepy rat. Seriously? You're afraid of a giant mouse? Yeah, he is kind of creepy. Well, maybe he took the day off. I'm going to go to Chuck E. Cheese and play some games and eat pizza. Yeah, me too. Let's see if I can all stuff inside my car. I don't know, Daisy. Your car is really small, but we might be able to all fit in here. I get shotgun. See, we all fit. Just goes kind of slow because Molly ate too many cupcakes for lunch. What? Okay, I can't even deny that one. I probably did eat too many cupcakes for lunch. Chucky cheese is so much fun. Daisy, way to run every single red light in the entire game. Uh, I didn't run that one. It was green. Yeah, but you just ran that one. Daisy, you just drove right by it. I'm parking in the back. Chill out. Does anybody else notice that Molly and Daisy fight a lot? It's probably because they're sisters. Definitely the most annoying sister. Whoa, Chucky e. Cheese got a makeover. Yeah, no creepy animatronics or anything. <gasps> yeah, just so many cool games. Hockey. This is one of my favorites. All right, I'm going to snap this because I just feel like um, people might not know that our town has such an awesome Chuck E. Cheese right now. Hey, guys. There's my BFF, Brookie. There's my annoying sister, Daisy. Hey, Molly Boot. And there is my um, friend. Yeah, friend.
friend, Luke, and we are at the new and improved Chuck E. Cheese. Look at this. This looks amazing. They have air hockey, they have bowling. Hey Molly, they've got your favorite crane game. What? Okay, I gotta finish this Snapchat, guys, because I'm gonna go play crane game with um Luke. Okay, bye. Hey Molly, did you know that if you stick your arm up inside the crane game, um, you can actually just like take a toy out of there. What? That's cheating. I know, I would never do it because you know I'm not a thief, but I just think it's kind of cool that you could actually do it. One time I watched this kid like crawl up in there and he got all the toys and then he took a nap inside. You're making that up. No, I'm not, I'm being serious. <laughs> oh my God, that's crazy. Well, um, I'll be right back because I'm gonna go get a soda, but then we can play crane game. Do you want a soda too, Luke? Sure, that would be great. I'd love one. Okay, be right back. He really likes me. <gasps> well, we're just waiting on the waiter or waitress to come take our order because I'm starving and I want something to tweet. Yeah, Luke's waiting to play crane game with me, but I want some soda too. Oh, I can't wait to snap this. Oh, I look so cute today. Hey, everyone. Just looking adorable at my job. Excuse me, but not to be rude, but we're really hungry and we want something to drink. Can you please take our order? Yeah, and our friend Luke over there definitely wants something to drink and eat too. Wait a minute. There were ten toys in that crane game, and now there's only nine. Whoa, but friend Luke must have won one. No, there was no more money put into it because every time money gets put in, we get like a little signal on our phones that tells us that. Whoa, really? Yeah, it shows us every time we make a sale at Chuck E. Cheese and I didn't get one. So did your friend just steal from the crane game? Well, I just heard him say that you could stick your arm up in there and get a free toy. Um, Daisy, I'm not sure we should tell her that. Our friend Luke, he doesn't steal anything. Well, maybe we should let the police decide. What? No, put away your phone. He didn't do it. He's innocent. Mm -hmm. Let's just let the police decide whether he stole a toy or not. Lady, why are you being so rude to my boyfriend? <gasps> your Ow. boyfriend? Who said it was your boyfriend? Oh, no. Are you guys going to fight over Luke? I mean, your sister's first, and then your friend's with Luke's second. Well, there's no fighting. He's my boyfriend. He's actually neither of your boyfriends. Well, I'm sure he didn't steal anything. Luke, Luke, they're about to call the cops. Wait, what? Why? Did Chuck E. Cheese come back? Has he gone crazy like you said? No, there's a toy missing from the crane game, and no money got put in. There was supposed to be 10 toys, and now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's two missing toys. Well, I didn't take them. I don't know what happened. It wasn't me. Well, it had to be somebody, and you were the only one standing here. Are you accusing me of stealing those toys? <gasps> I thought we were friends. Ah, uh, no, I'm not accusing you. I'm just saying that the police are coming. Uh-oh. I think you're innocent, though. Well, I'm sure it's just all a misunderstanding. Where's the criminal? I'm going to take him down. What? There's no criminal here. Actually, someone stole two toys from the crane game. And I looked at surveillance footage and you were the only one. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he took it. Yeah. Maybe he's very good at being a thief. Is this the first time you've stolen from a crane game? <gasps> Are you a serial crane game thief? Uh-oh. Um, I don't even know if that's a real sentence you just said, but... Maddie... Don't talk to the police like that. You'll be arrested next. Well, I'll be hauling you off to jail now. Wait, what? You can't take him. He's he's my friend. Yeah, and he's going to stay here, lady. It's okay, Molly. I'm sure this is all a misunderstanding. Yeah, you'll be out in no time. I just know it. Mm -hmm. Sure you will. That's what all the criminals say. Come on, let's go. Hey, you, there, in my bed. Huh? What? Ugh, you're in the wrong jail cell. This is my room. No, jail cell number one is mine. This is only my third time in here, and I always am in number one. Oh, sorry. Did you just get taller? No, I was just squatting down, so I didn't want to make you feel as bad. But now, since you're just trying to steal my bed, I just gonna have to beat you up what no i i i'm not like a, a criminal i i 
They said I stole two toys from the crane machine at, at Chuck E. Cheese, but I didn't do it. Really? Wow. Harsh. You're a bad guy. Um, not really, because I didn't actually do it. What are you in here for, and what's your name? Hey, I'm Fred. My reason for being in here this time is that, well, I stole a pacifier from Target. Seriously? Dude, you're like 40. You don't need a pacifier anymore. No, it's for this kid that was crying in the one aisle over. I felt sorry for it, and also it was really loud. So I went to give it a pacifier. But of course, I don't own a pacifier. Um, Fred? Are those bunny slippers? Yeah, of course they are! I'm about to go to bed, duh! Now get out of my jail cell! Um, I would, but I can't open the door! Well, then I guess you gotta sleep on the top bunk. Okay. Hope we can be friends, Fred! Don't count on it, kid. So, uh, boss, why'd you want to see us in your jail cell? Well, I've got a new idea to get on out of here. Oh, boss, you're so smart. I hope this time we get out of jail for real. Yeah, so we can rob some more banks. Okay, boys. First, change my diaper. Boss, uh, I don't think so. Aren't you potty trained? Yeah, but I was just messing with you. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, boss, you're so funny. <laughs> well, laugh. <laughs> you're our funny boss. When I say laugh, I mean laugh. When I say break me out of jail, I mean break me out of jail. I can't believe I got put in a max security prison for all boys. Oh, I miss school. I miss my friends. I miss pizza! Mmm, this pizza's really good. Yeah, really good. Mali, are you okay? Uh, yeah, sure. Mali, you're eating ale. There's no pizza in your hand. Oh, yeah, I guess I wasn't very hungry. Mali, what's going God? I found out today on Snapchat that Luke has been sent to a max security all-boys prison. What? Yeah. We can't even go visit him because we're girls. Oh, Ben, gee, Molly, how long they be there for? I don't know, Daisy. I, I think probably ten years for stealing those two toys from Chuck E. Cheese. What? No, oh, five years for each toy, and the things were only worth about fifty cents. That seems a bit harsh. Yeah, but if you do the crime, you do the time. Except for Luke didn't do anything. I don't know how those toys disappeared. Maybe they just counted wrong. My friend, he's not a thief. I know, Molly, I know. But there's not much we could do. I know. Oh, this is terrible. Who's going to play Roblox with me? I will, Molly. But you're my annoying sister. I want Luke. Yeah. Molly, I know you have a crush on him. What? Don't say that. He's just my friend, and I miss him. I know. I miss him, too. Breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> Little Nikki is back in prison. Oh, my gosh. That guy will never stop. Yeah. And he's not even five years old yet. Think about the criminal, Sarah, that he's going to be when he's, like, 15 or 20. Yeah, he's the biggest criminal we have in this town. Whoa, little Nikki is back in prison? Wait a minute. That gives me a great idea. Molly, I don't like when you have great ideas. They end up really bad ideas. If they're going to put Luke in an all-boys prison, then they're going to have to lock me up, too. Uh, Molly, you're a girl. What are you talking about? <laughs> You'll see. Molly, where are you going? <coughs> Outfit change. Molly, you're going to get dressed up? But Luke's not even here to take you out on a date. <laughs> oh, very funny, Daisy. Hey, everybody. It's me, Molly. I'm doing this last Snapchat because I don't know if I'm going to return from this mission. But if I do, guys, you can guarantee that I'm going to have my friend Luke with me. And then he might ask me to dance, so I'm extra excited about that. Okay, guys. I hope I see you soon. Bye. <coughs> well, what do you think? Maddie, what are you wearing? <laughs> you look like little Nikki. Yeah, I'm little Nikki's twin. <laughs> this wig is awesome. Uh, Molly, I don't know if they're going to believe it. And why do you want to pretend you're his twin? Because how do they know who did the crime? 
Little Nikki or Molly Nikki? I guess they wouldn't know. And that means they'd have to put you in the prison. That's right. So I get to see Luke and hopefully break him out of there. Molly, when I said that your ideas were bad ones, I really meant it. You might get locked up forever. To help my friend, it'd be worth it. Molly, don't leave. Don't worry, Roblox wouldn't let me. It actually made me chill on the couch. <laughs> I hate when Roblox does that. Yeah, well, now I'm actually leaving. Bum, bum, bum. Time to use my phone to teleport. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could actually teleport in real life? <laughs> yeah. That well, would save a lot of car accidents. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go. I'm about to save my best friend. Actually, sorry. Uh, Brookie, are you watching this? Yes. Did you just call Luke your best friend? Ow. See, I mean, you're my best friend, Brookie, and Luke is my soon-to-be <gasps> boyfriend. Yeah. Ooh la la. <laughs> Hi there. Whoa. Little Nikki, how'd you get out? Wait a minute, you're not Little Nikki. You're way too tall to be Little Nikki. <laughs> That's because I'm Little Nikki's twin. Uh -oh. Little Vicky. Little Vicky? Yeah, as in Victor, Vicky, Victor. I didn't know we had a twin brother. Wait, how are you so much taller than he is if you're twins? I had a growth spurt, duh. All kids grow at different rates, duh. Huh. Are you supposed to be smart, bacon hair? Actually, no, I'm kind of a noob. Uh, okay. Well, do you need to lock me up? Um, why? Because how do you know which twin actually did the crime? Oh, yeah, that's true. Have you been helping your brother rob banks? Absolutely. You have the right to remain silent. You're going to jail. Perfect. Really? You're that excited about it? Wow, you're kind of messed up. Well, you know what they say. Three hots and a cot. Place to sleep and a place to eat. Sounds good to me. Now, do you serve pizza? No. Uh-oh. Only have gruel three times a day. Yeah. Ugh. Well, I guess I'll learn to love it. You'll be in cell number one. Luke! Little Nikki? Wait, did you have a growth spurt? I'm sorry. I promise I won't ever look at you the wrong way ever again. Um, yeah, um, what? I promise, don't give me any more swirlies in the toilet. Yeah. That was the worst day of my life. <laughs> oh, wow. Totally gonna have a little bit of, uh, just trauma from that one, huh? <laughs> Luke, it's not little Nikki. It's, uh, little Vicky. <laughs> Wait, there's two of you? <laughs> uh, no. Luke, it's me. I know. Oh, please. I'm, okay, I'm sleeping. Just ignore me. I'm not even here. Luke, it's me, Molly. Wait, what? What? Molly? Yeah, I'm wearing a wig and some fake muscles and this ridiculous outfit, and I don't know why I keep just... This game is so glitchy! Ah! Don't you know I'm trying to make a role play? Uh, Molly, um, can we get back to the story? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Anyway, so I'm a little Vicky, but I'm actually Molly, and I, I went undercover to get you out of here. Wait, you snuck into an all-boys prison? Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you, Luke. Only for you. Aww. Oh, <laughs> um, that was a nice thing to say. Well, I guess we're going to get to know each other better since we're roomies now. Yeah, except for this wig is really itchy. Ugh. Okay, everybody. You have the right to remain silent. Who is this clown? He's just one of little Nikki's, well, cronies. Wait. Little Nikki? I didn't know you were in here. <laughs> Sorry, boss. I'll do better next time. Uh -oh. Yeah, you better. You better get me and my friend Luke out of here. Tonight. Okay. Well, I got a job in the tools section, so finally they trust me enough. They don't know that I'm one of your cronies. Did you hear that, Luke? He works in the tools section at the <laughs> This means he's going to get us out of here. I don't know. That guy's kind of, well, ignoramus. Well, it doesn't matter if he's dumb or not. He's getting us out of here. They lock the doors after 8 p.m. There's no leaving or going from the jail cells. Don't worry. I have a feeling that my crony will figure this out. Wow, you're actually kind of like little Nikki, only cuter. Oh, even in this ugly wig. Absolutely, Molly. <laughs> that was a nice thing to say. Hey, if we get out of here, do you want to go to the dance with me? What? 
Um, uh. I mean, you don't have to. Yes, I'll go to the dance with you, sure! Okay, I didn't think you were gonna be that excited about it. Well, I will be excited about anything if I can get out of here. Um, it's kind of bad, but I have to go to the bathroom. What? No, you're gonna have to hold it! But I had a taco for lunch. <laughs> Molly! Whoopsie! <laughs> Uh, well, I guess we're stuck in the same room, so, um, didn't mean to gas you out. Psst, guys, come on! I broke the lock! <laughs> Perfect, crony, let's get out of here. We do have a way out, right? Sure do. Watch this. What? Freedom! Come on, Luke, we're out of here. Are you sure this is a good idea, Molly? Yeah, now we have to figure out how to prove your innocence. Should we steal that police car? No, then we go back to jail for that. We just need to go to Chuck E. Cheese and try to figure out how to get you out of this. And uh, I probably should change out of this outfit. And you should change out of that one. We look pretty obvious. Uh, Luke, are you going undercover like that? Mamma mia! Boy, are you going undercover like that? Your dress is a giant burrito. I know, I was so hungry that this is what I picked because I'm like really hungry. The jail doesn't even feed you. Molly, you were there for like two hours. I know, but I was expecting to give me pizza for dinner. It's jail! Exactly, it's jail! You don't get fed there! They just feed you gruel, and and if you can catch a mouse, you could probably eat that. Ew! Ew gross! Now come on, Luke. Let's go to Chuck E. Cheese and get to the bottom of this. Yeah, Molly. Hopefully we can prove my innocence. Yeah, and then we can go get bean burritos. I'm starving. Oh, Molly. You're always thinking of your stomach. Very true, very true. <laughs> and we're live in three, two, one, on air. Hello, citizens of Brookhaven. It's your favorite newscaster, Miley. Today, I have some very important breaking news. <sighs> Brookhaven has an outbreak of lyotomy. Lyotomy is where, when you catch it, you can't help but tell lies. Guys, stay in your houses. Don't leave. You do not want to catch lyotomy. Lyotomy? Oh my gosh. I hope I didn't catch it. I mean, I went to Starbucks after school today and, 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 and I didn't wash my hands before I ate my donut. Oh no. I'm sure I'm fine. I'm probably panicking about nothing. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a little jumpy, jumpy about that lyotomy. <laughs> Someone's at my door and I freaked out. Oh, it's Brookie. Hey, Brookie, come on in. Hey, Molly. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too. So, um, you here to hang out? Actually, Molly, um, I, I have to tell you a little bit of bad news. Uh-oh. Bad news? What is it? Don't freak out. It's not as bad as it, as you think, but I'm moving from Brookhaven. Wait, what? <laughs> moving from Brookhaven? No, no! I'm sorry, Molly, but it's true. I can't help it. My parents decided they're going to move because my dad got a new job. Brookie, no! You're my best friend! You can't leave! Molly, it's okay. It's just a short car ride away. We're not, like, moving to California or something. Oh, thank goodness. But will you still go to my school? Yeah, I just won't live, like, right next door. Well, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to go to your school anymore. I have to check. But you won't be there all day then! Yeah, I know, but I'm sorry, Molly. I, I can't do anything about it. Ugh. Brookie, I'm so sad about this. Hey, did you watch the news? What? Why are you talking about the news right now? No, of course I didn't. I was on my way over here. I didn't have time to watch the news. Besides, the news is for old people, duh. We just Google all of our information. Yeah, well, um, I saw something on there, but wait, what was it? Something important, but now I can't seem to remember it. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe it was about having amnesia, because it seems like you have it. Nah, I don't think that's what it was about. Wait, do I have amnesia? <laughs> Molly, I'm just teasing. But hey, look, I gotta go home and pack. Brookie, you can't leave! No! I'm gonna stand in front of the door. You can't ever leave. Molly, don't be ridiculous. You know I have to leave. I I know that we're BFFs, but don't worry. We can still hang out with one another. I really hope so, Brookie. I really hope so! Um, because I can't live without you. Yes, I, I can't. Aww. Really, Molly? Yeah, I, I, I'll get, like, super sick. I'll get green with illness. <coughs> oh, my gosh! 
Molly, you're right. You are turning green. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. My best friend, she can't move. Molly, you can come visit me every day after school, okay? Now please, turn back to your normal color. Okay, Perky. But, but don't leave me for long. Wow. Rookie's parents are really rich. Hey, Molly, come on in. Welcome to our new house. Holy macaroni and cheese. What kind of job did your parents get? A really good one. This town is so cool. Look, we even have our own movie theater. <gasps> Holy tacos and guacamole. Molly, so tell me the truth. Um, do you really like Luke? I was thinking about asking him to the dance. Wait, what? No, I don't like him. Are you being for real, Molly? I, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah, I don't I don't like Luke. I, I actually just like don't like him at all. He's not even my friend anymore. Wait, what? So I've been out of a different like out of our school and a different school for like a week and you already decided you don't want him as a friend? That's right. Well what did he do? He ate my peanut butter and jelly sandwich at lunch. Can you believe that? Molly, are you telling me the truth right now? <laughs> That's kind of a silly reason to not be someone's friend. Yeah, but it was peanut butter and jelly. One of my favorites. And yes, it is a perfectly good reason. Now, come on. Let's go into the kitchen and make some snacks. I'm really hungry. You can find the kitchen. This house is gigantic. Oh, yeah. Molly, I haven't even figured it out yet. But I'm pretty sure it's up here. Whoa, Brookie. Your house is so amazing. I mean, not that amazing. It's, it's kind of lame. What? What are you talking about? I thought you said you loved it. Yeah, I changed my mind. It's lame. Molly, what's gotten into you? What do you mean, what's gotten into me? What's gotten into you? What? I... Okay. First of all, you don't want to be friends with Luke anymore, even though you had a huge crush on him and he was a good friend of yours just because he ate your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And now you're telling me you loved my house, but you're saying you don't love it? So which is the lie, Molly? What? Nothing's a lie. I'm not a liar. Oh, really, Molly? I think you are lying. I don't think you ever not want to be friends with Luke. And I think you really do like my house. Your house is crummy and ugly and I hate it. Molly, that hurt my feelings. Do you feel bad about hurting my feelings? Uh-oh. Um, no. Molly, maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Well, you need to be my friend for at least another hour because my sister borrowed the car to go to dance class and I've got no ride home since you moved to another town. But Molly, you said you couldn't even live without me. They, you turned green because you'd be so sick if, if you couldn't be my friend anymore. And and here I am inviting you to my new house and you're going to be rude like this? Well, do I look green now? Um, no. I think you should call Daisy and tell her to come pick you up early. Fine. I'll call her. It's ringing. Okay, fine. Can't believe it. I thought that when I moved away, we'd still be friends. Well, you thought wrong. Hello, what's up? I'm doing my peel rights. Daisy, um, you need to come get me, like, now. What? Why? Just come to Brookie's. It's an emergency. Bye. There, are you happy? Now I'm going to make a snap about how rude you are for kicking me out of your house. What? I don't want to be on your snap. I don't care. You're on my snap. No. Well, tell them the truth, then. You're being rude. I'm not going to be on your snap. Um, my friend Brookie is being so rude right now. She's kicking me out of her house for no reason. What? No, I'm not. Says the girl who doesn't even want to be on this snap. Okay, Molly. Tell me the truth. What's really going on? Are you an alien that's abducted my best friend's body? Because you don't seem like yourself. Well, think again. Excuse me. I have to go to the bathroom. I ate a bean burrito for lunch. <laughs> the bathroom's the other way. Fine! <gasps> Molly, that's not the door to the bathroom. Well, that's not my fault. I mean, why'd you make your door so big on your refrigerator? Molly, you're not allowed to just eat my food after you were so mean to me. Too bad. Mm. I'm eating this ice cream on the way to the bathroom. Yeah. Ugh. Molly, you are so rude. Ow, why are you running into me? Because I don't know where the bathroom is in this house either. Ugh. Well, I don't know why my friend has gotten so rude. I don't know what her problem is. Mm, 
some good ice cream. Molly, are you done in the bathroom? I have to use it. No, I'm not. Well, get out of the bathroom, Molly. Why are you lying so much to me? I'm going in the bathroom. Okay, well, you have fun with that. What's that smell? <gasps> Ew, Molly, did you forget to flush the toilet? Huh, what? No, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about this giant dude in my bathroom. Gross. Uh, yeah, no, that wasn't me. Molly, you're the only one here. What, was it a ghost? Uh, yep, must have been. Why is he lying so much? And what did you have for lunch? It's gross in here. I had a nutritious, delicious lunch. A chicken salad. I don't believe you, Molly. You had bean burritos. I know what bean burritos do to you. Why are you lying? I'm not lying. What are you talking about? You're lying about lying. I'm not 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 lying. Hello? Is anybody there? We're going to get to the bottom of this, Molly. If it's the last thing I do. Get to the bottom of what? What are you even talking about? We're downstairs, Daisy. Come on in and pick up your rude, lying sister. What's going on? I had to leave my dance class early. This is ridiculous. Molly, tell me what's going on. Did you stick up Boogie's bathroom? What? No. Why do you say that? Because it smells awful in here and I know it wasn't Boogie. And you had a bean burrito for lunch. Hey, you told me you had a delicious and nutritious something. Chicken salad or something. You didn't say bean burrito. Um, uh, well, this is mistaken. No, I'm not, Molly. Why are you lying about that? You love bean burritos. She's been lying about everything, Daisy. I have not. If you guys are going to be rude to me, I'm going outside. Even though I don't know how to get out of here and I can't walk home because it's too far. Molly, get back in here. We have more questions. Yeah, Molly, why? I don't know. I just keep lying and I don't know why. Oh my gosh. Molly caught my out of me. <gasps> what? 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 What's that? I saw it about it. I, it. I saw it. I, I can't even talk. I'm so crazy by this. I saw this um, thing on the news. It's called Lyotomy. It's been going around Brookhaven. You must have moved before you caught it. Well, why don't you have it, Daisy? I don't know. Maybe I'm immune. Um, I do wash my hands a lot. Molly, did you wash your hands? What? Yes. Molly. Yes. Molly, tell the truth. Yes. She can't tell the truth. Seems like Lyotomy makes her lie about everything. Well, do you still want to be her friend? I mean, it's not really her fault. Yeah, it's not really my fault. Wait, I'm not even lying. Am I? I don't know. Oh my god. I might be lying! We need to take her to the hospital. Right away. Good idea! So, um, I'm at the hospital because I'm having a baby. Molly, why are you telling people that? Get, get out of here, Molly. That's not true. Hey, get out of my snap! <laughs> I'm here to have twins. It might actually be triplets. Oh my god, she has lyotomy so bad. They're crying inside of my belly right now. Body, you're the one who did that. The triplets are very mad at you for saying that. Oh god, someone give her something to knock her out. Oh look, no one's here. Time to go. Molly, get back here! Oh, I ran into the door. <laughs> Maybe I need to have my head checked. Hi, I'm Dr. Joan, and I'm going to be taking care of you today. I'm going to need you to lay down on the bed. I am laying down, lady. Um, no, you're not. You're standing up. Did you fall and bonk on your head? Ow. No, I'm just sitting down. Yeah, can't you see I'm sitting down? Okay, listen, Molly. If you don't sit down, I can't help you. I don't need help. I'm perfectly fine. No, she's not. Don't listen to that crazy person standing outside the window of this room. I don't know who she is. That's your sister. She signed you in. Now, I'm thinking that you live in Brookhaven? No, I don't. I live in Blacksburg. No, she doesn't. She lives in Brookhaven. She didn't wash her hand before she ate a donut. Now she's got lyotomy. Lyotomy? Are you serious? Okay, dear. Lay down. Uh, I thought we already went over this. I'm laying down. Lay down! Okay, fine. Wow, why are you being so rude? Well... This is going to be a little unpleasant. Do I get medicine? Do I get to hang out in the hospital? Do I have to do homework? Um, no, no, and no. Sorry about this, but in order for you to be cured from lyotomy, you're basically going to have to get smacked in the head with this. What? Check, please! Daisy! Ah, why can't I move? Oh, yeah, 
I did give you just a little bit of medicine in your IV so that um, you couldn't move while I did this. Ah! Well, sorry about this, but ooh, I sort of need a nap. <laughs> just kidding. It's a glitch in the game. It always makes me want to lay down in the bed when I'm trying to be a doctor. <laughs> Ow, did you just hit me? Okay, try to tell a lie. You're very pretty. What? I don't know if that's a lie or the truth. It's a lie, lady. Knock me again. How about now? Are you feeling any better? Ow! Okay, I'm better. Why you keep hitting me? Because you called me ugly and you deserved that. Ugh, I want to get out of here. Can I move now? I suggest you lay here on this magic cot for at least another hour. Is it really magic? Um, no. But I may have caught your lyotomy. Oh, no! It's spreading! Ah! Uh-oh. Guess you should have washed your hands before you smacked me in the head with that hammer. Molly? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm feeling a lot better, but I have a headache. Ow! I wonder. Holy guacamole. Where's Brookie? Uh, your line got a little bit too much for her. Oh, no. Well, Molly, apparently whatever they gave you made you levitate. Um, actually, no, that's from my bean burrito. <laughs> Molly! What? It makes a lot of wind under me. <laughs> Get it, wind. Ay, ay, ay. Molly, just text Boogie. Tell her you're sorry. Okay. Here we go. Hi, Brookie. I know I lied. But it was because I had a disease. I may lie about my homework. Oh, wait. I got it wrong. Um, uh, if you did your homework, you could spell it right. I wouldn't lie to you, please. We've been friends forever. Molly, just apologize. Why are you writing to a novel right now? It's not supposed to be a book. Daisy, shh. Please, we've been friends forever. We met at daycare. And you... Five minutes later. You've been my... BFF since then. How will I ever? A few minutes later. Live without you. Not just say you're sorry. Okay, fine. Whoops, I already clicked send. I'm sorry. Little, like, cat emoji. Um, or dog, maybe. Look at this grumpy cat, like, wait, what? I just want to send her something cute. Why do I always got to pay for it? Oh my god, I think she sent me a heart. Did I send her a heart? Aww. Yeah, Molly, she sent that to you. I hope she comes back into the hospital and talks to me. Oh, uh, Molly, she may. Oh, she texts you back. She texts me back. What am I saying? I don't know. She smacked you on the head with a hammer. Okay. What does this mean? Just, just, just put your phone down. You need your rest. No, I need to know what she means. Buddy, the doctor told you to stay in bed. You just had a crazy procedure. I know, but I have to find Brookie. Oh, Brookie! I'm so sorry. Where are you? What do you want, Molly? Oh, Brookie! Hi, I'm sorry I had lyotomy. And, 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 uh, do you forgive me? <gasps> I don't know. Yes, I, no. Wait, what? I don't know. I mean, you are, well, an ugly person. Wait, what? Oh my god, Brookie, do you feel sort of green? Uh, yeah, sort of. Uh, okay, um, Brookie, you've caught lyotomy. <gasps> what? No, I haven't. Brookie, you're lying. Come on, let's go. They have to hit you over the head with a hammer. Wait, what? Are you lying? No, really, that's the cure. Oh!